Hello, everybody. Good to see you all. Welcome back to session. Well, no, I can't say welcome back to session two, because this is the first time you're seeing session two. So that just wouldn't be accurate to say. Oh, let me cut down the uh, system menu music to replace it with the system menu music within the game's uh, coding itself. My webcam is still doing that uh, exposure, flippy, floppy shit. It's great. It's probably because I got that lamp right behind me. Uh, that's causing those uh, snafus. And uh, hey, Fetty, thank you for the Twitch behind you. I much appreciate it. Hope you're feeling better, by the way. Because I know um, you toughed through uh, last night's tea prog, but still. <laughs> uh, hopefully everything is okay on your end. Um, Bobo, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime as well. And you as well, Simple Sketchpad. <laughs> Getting ready to head along here. So tonight we are going to finish off uh, Team Rose. Because we, we legit, we only have one stage left with Team Rose. But I couldn't finish it last week because I had other engagements to get, uh, get to. And... Uh, well, we're just going to continue on from there, and uh, after we finish all four teams, we are going to do a Chaos Emerald run through Team Rose, just to make sure that, you know, we get the last story unlocked. And after we do last story, we're going to then, you know, start grinding emblems and all that. Same as we pretty much did for Sonic Adventure 1 and Sonic Adventure 2, although I'm not, I'm not entirely sure how long it's going to take me for Heroes, because I've never done it for Heroes. Until this live stream series, but, you know, kind of the reason why I like doing this kind of stuff. It gives me the excuse to do stupid, stupid shit like this. Yay! Yay! So I have uh, Nora with me tonight, starting off. Uh, whether or not we will get uh, the others uh, later tonight, that is entirely up to them. Uh, because they are by no means obligated to join these live streams, but their company is welcome nevertheless. So... In case you missed last week's session, <laughs> if you, uh, well, you can catch the VOD. The VOD's right there on Twitch. It was it was quite a trip. Uh, and I'm not even just talking about the gameplay. Like, the gameplay from last week's session is entirely secondary to the shit that was coming out of people's mouths involving Sonic, Archie... I think that's it. <laughs> that's the Microwave. entire session. That microwaves and... So, I, I'm not entirely sure what to expect tonight, but I thank you all for tuning in anyway and coming down and watch me pull my hair out or what's little is left of it, because, uh, as I said before, I don't mind Sonic Heroes. Sonic Heroes is not a terrible game, but it is not my preferred 3D Sonic game compared to, like, the the, Dream, the Dreamcast trilogy, which Sega and Sonic Team seem to put Sonic Heroes with. Uh, it, it is to them the last of the Dreamcast era, even though it was never released on the Dreamcast. Compared to everything else, I just don't like the way Sonic Heroes cranked up the acceleration for the characters. The game is too slippery for my liking, uh, which would also get worse with uh, Shadow the Hedgehog, but that's a different conversation for another day. I don't remember if you can uh, body slam this. Okay, never mind. I always classify this as Adventure Era. I mean, it's a similar... A uh, similar atmosphere, similar mood, definitely. The soundtrack, I, I feel, also really helps. Because this would be... This and Shadow the Hedgehog would be one of the last games to incorporate this kind of... Uh, I don't remember what kind of uh, music you would call this for Adventure Era. Butt Rock? Butt Rock? Maybe, I'm not sure. Definitely always, but like... The slang way that we kind of refer to it. Oh no! No... Uh, hey, John, I remember, Sonic Heroes is actually my first Sonic game that I've found memories of, even, if it was inferior, even though it was the inferior PS2 version. In fact, I recently just ordered a GameCube copy. Well, I hope you continue to have fun. Like, I'm, not, I'm not the kind of dude that takes away, like, positive memories of games, like, no matter what they were. Like, maybe, like, behind the scenes when you're not looking, I'm giving you the stink eye. <laughs> but you'll never know. And that's kind of the thrill of the mystery. No, but I got plenty of friends who consider Sonic Heroes their favorite, uh, if not their favorite game in the series, their favorite 3D game specifically. I know Nathan, uh, my co-host Nathan, uh, swears by Heroes. Oh, I can't say I say the same. I respect those who do enjoy Heroes at that level. I don't go hounding people for like, hey man, what's your... Um, 
So what's your favorite Sonic game, you know? Because I, 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 I don't care at the end of the day. <laughs> I really don't. I'm not that kind of Sonic tuber. I don't care what you think. <laughs> Unless your favorite's like, I don't know, Triple Trouble or some shit. That was the way we was talking. Uh, well, I don't know. <laughs> it's like, one, where did you fall out from? <laughs> Do you know what year it is? Yeah. <laughs> you missed all the Great Wars. <laughs> <laughs> Triple Trouble is my favorite of the Game Gear games, but I still wouldn't play it over, like, Sonic 2 or Sonic yeah. 3. You know, although there are design elements of that game that I wish would carry over to mainline Sonic games, mainly the fact that if you bounce off of a spring, you can press the jump button to go into a ball in midair. I love that. Like I legitimately love that incorporation in a uh, Triple Trouble. That that, that I, would be helpful. No other uh, game in the series, to my knowledge, has replicated. Certainly, Sonic Four could have benefited from that kind of uh, design. I know I should be yeah. using that, too much, that sort of thing. Hey, uh, Blazing Air, thanks for the tier one. This is one of my most. Uh, this is one of the most nostalgic games for me. I'm excited to see you go through everything in this game. Okay, I'm glad you're excited. I'm not entirely. I can't share that same enthusiasm. Because Sonic Heroes is unfortunately one of those games that when I when the subject of it is brought up, my first line of thought is always, oh, man, I, "Can we talk about the controls?" Because <laughs> I don't like the controls, <laughs> you know. And uh, those that follow my channel for years on end, or uh, maybe you just got it from these live streams. Uh, controls are a really big factor for me personally because uh, if you want me in, in a platformer specifically, I mean it, can, it goes for pretty much a lot of video games in general. But for platformers specifically, I need really good controls because uh, if you're asking me to do certain challenges or maybe you want me to do nice uh, rail in there, big. Uh, if you want me to do like specific hardcore challenges or precise uh, challenges, I need to make sure the control is fine too to a degree where it's very comfortable to do so. Um, and if I, if I if I screw up, if I fall down pits, if I miss time jumps or all that sort of thing, I, I want that to be 100% my fault and not because of the game fucking me. But control is always such a hard thing to explain, like, without experiencing it yourself, because I mean, if you do it too much, you just sound like you're whining. Uh, and it's just one of those things that you just can't really get a grasp on without actually playing the game yourself. Hey, uh, Brandon, thank you for the bits. I appreciate it. Uh, for Kirby's anniversary in 2020, uh, 2022, I would like to return the Dream Land, Triple Deluxe, and Planet Robot to get the port to the Switch. I don't see that happening with Triple Deluxe and Planet Robot, but return the Dream Land, yes. Because so I don't think they're really in the habit of giving 3DS games Switch ports. Unless no. I'm mistaken. Can you think of anything? I can't think of anything. Uh, there's a few. Nothing I can think of off the top of my head, but I know they exist. The big trouble is the same thing that actually uh, delayed fucking Tokyo Mirage Sessions for so long, is that a lot of 3DS games have big touchscreen support. Yes. Um, it's the same reason why Entry and Odyssey is basically dead in the water right now, unfortunately. Oh, really? I can't, I can't think of a way to make that game without using the touchscreen, because so much of it is about actively mapping as you go along. Actually, no way I can make money here. Uh, do I dis do I like or dislike the Ottawa Chaotix? In this game, I absolutely detest <laughs> Team Chaotix <laughs> entirely. <laughs> uh, Team Chaotix to me is the worst part of the game. It's unfortunate because I do like them character-wise, despite Charmy being sure a six-year-old. But <laughs> yeah, they're they're gameplay sexy for I don't even remember the lyrics to any. Like, I don't remember any of the songs in Sonic. Like the lyric songs, besides what I'm made of in Sonic Heroes, mm -hmm. that's it. Like the character themes, well, the team themes, I should say. It's more accurate to say in this game. I don't recall at all. Team Chaotix, I can remember pretty well, but all the others, yeah, not at all. Come on. Put the thing down. <laughs> Please. This is this kind of stuff is easily like heroes' is weakest point in game design. Like controls aside, just the enemies with the mul multiple HP. The barricades, points. basically. I think Heroes was the first to do that. Because Adventure yeah. 2, I can't recall an Adventure 1 or 2 that did that in any capacity. That was good. Um, so. 
Yeah, I want to say Sonic Heroes was the first to do that. A lot of people are saying uh, this machine. Uh, that's the Team Dark theme, I believe, right? I think so. Let's look it up. I have YouTube open. Who's rating me? Hey, Uncle. Thank you for the raid. Party of 29. Uh, yes, My wife machine. was the imposter. <laughs> oh, dear. I'm assuming somebody was playing Among Us. Yep, that sounds like it, all right. It's also kind of depressing. <laughs> <laughs> I was playing Among Us with some friends the other night, and it was probably like the worst Among Us oh, performance I've ever had. Why? But somehow, despite the sleep deprivation, me and Barry managed to win that last round, so I can't even complain. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> nah, just, my brain wasn't working, people were doing smart plays, and I couldn't pick up on them, so you know. Uh... No, I have not played Among Us yet, uh, for those asking. I'm looking to change that sooner rather than later. I've been approached by a couple people to partake in a session, uh, Nora being one of them. <laughs> and uh, I, I just need to find a time for it, because right now I'm neck deep in videos that I have to do. Yeah. Yeah, a brain scratch session for, uh, for Among Us sounds really fun. I'll definitely say that you you want to get more than, like, four people if you're going to do Among Us. What's the max? Max is ten. Okay. Then it, it's one of those games I think you just need a max ten pretty much all times. Not not all times. We've done pretty well with smaller games. But how many players you have cha will change a lot about how you want to build your games. Like, if you want to have a two imposter game, you definitely need to have eight to ten because otherwise it's weighed really heavily in the imposter's favor. I can only go off of what I heard what you guys play on in the RMM. Mm -hmm. Which, I mean, I didn't play the game, but I love listening to you guys bullshit each other. <laughs> like, it was not even screen watching. I was like, he's lying. <laughs> I was like, he's full of shit. <laughs> Uh, F92 DSS 7 to 8 is a good amount of people to play. Yeah. Uh, 7 to 8 is good. It's, um, if you go a 7 person game, you might want to do one imposter with a shorter kill cooldown because if it's two imposters, they only need like three kills, I think it is, to win. Does Eggman have neighbors? I probably not. I mean, this is really like a really dumb like question to ask. He lives in the sky, so I guess they're birds. That's right. Eggman doesn't have a house. No, no, not true. Um, I mean, he does have the house in the Mystic Ruins. The Mystic. Um, well, he has a base in the Mystic Ruins. Then he has that the egg carrier. Bad. Um, well, is that, is that Sky High High School right near him? No, I don't think so. Hey, Uncle. Okay. <laughs> no, um, uh, he, there was that movie with Sky High, and it was a high school. I just recall. And, I, I just re I just recalled. Uh, there was this animated short that I think was part of Sonic Jam. I think it was called Sonic Man oh, of the Year. Yeah, I remember and that. Legit, it starts with Eggman like getting up from his bed, and like he lives in like a, in a house that's like in the shape of his like his person. So. Yeah, that's his house. Like, he, he lives like in a house, house in the suburbs. No, no, it's kind of it's kind of in a desolated land. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought he was like, <laughs> yeah, he lives in the right? suburbs. Like, he's just like, hey, neighbor. Like, he's getting his papers. Neighbor's getting his paper. Listen, it's got to be so, at least somewhat close to civilization. He does have TV. Yes, he's got to well, have. He might, have, he might have satellite though. Yeah, that's true too. You think you think Eggman pays for satellite? Or no, he definitely <laughs> mooches. Of course he does. But he, but the, but the fact, like, man, but we're Eggman not questioning whether or not he, <laughs> we're not questioning whether he pays for it, whether or not he just has yeah. it. This is this is why he lives in a floating fortress. It's easier for him to intercept the signals that way. <laughs> that's it. Five G shit. I'm on seven G. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's 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 five head and seven G. He's way he's way ahead of his time. He's actually at zero G because he's at the actual latitude of where it is at. 
Hey he's at he's he's at the the he's at the beginning the the source the the genesis if you will. <laughs> he's at, he, he calls he calls it the master system. I mean, <laughs> I, it, it's right outside of Saturn. No, you you, you know, thirty two X. Are you sure it wasn't the Neptune? There, yeah. and, and, his, and his pant size is a thirty two X. There you yeah. go. <laughs> I didn't need to know no that part. Thank you. No, you see, he's, you see, he's a yeah. He, he's a nomad because he he lives by himself. <laughs> now you see, there's there's three G, there's five G, and then uh, where Eggman's at right now, he's at Prime G. <laughs> Actually, no, no, he's at he's at two G. Game Gear? What? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I just wanted to stop in and say hi. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate the rain, Uncle. Thank you very much. No problem. That's been quite a dreamcast. Yeah. <laughs> that dream casted long ago. <laughs> well, we had an unfortunate death near the end there, so that's good to bring the rank down. But that's fine. It's not fun if I don't get it. <laughs> it's not fun if I get it my first try. Of course not. Uh, John, how much of my opinion has changed on Heroes since the SUV playthrough? Not at all. <laughs> it's like my my thoughts are still the same as my original video that I did in 2012. Again, I, I don't I don't hate Heroes, but I don't like it as much as Adventure One or Two. And that's pretty much where I'm always going to stand, you know, because I've had those thoughts since 2004, you know. You ready to thunder shoot the hell out of this? Yeah, a Emperor. Egg Emperor is the yeah, uh, not for is nothing. Amazing. What level? Wait, what? Do we really get this far up in the last stream? Yeah. yeah. We we're almost yeah, we done. We got up yeah. to, uh, we got up to the end. To, yeah. uh, what, oh, what? To Eggplate uh, last time, which is the yeah. start of the last zone, so. <laughs> Sora, Tano, Goofy, prepare to <laughs> 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 eat <laughs> Yeah, so this is the Egg Emperor. Uh, the only dickish thing about him is that if you get too far away, or if the distance between you and him are too great, he will immediately charge, which is unavoidable. Yeah. And he will hound you to the ends of the earth. If for some reason you go out of bounds and fall to the abyss below, he will catch up to you and hit you with a charge. He's the person that wants to hit you with that gun and down air, even though you're dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on, I just want to do Thunder Shoot. Oh, oh no. you missed the uh, second Thunder. You missed the level up for... Oh, well, I'm going to begin level ups from the the glitch anyway. Team so, attack. Yeah. Oh, right, right, yeah. The, uh, oh, I keep course. forgetting, that is right, that they do gain a level up from Scene Blast. That's right. Yeah, that's what makes them the best. You don't have to pussy around with them waiting around for that shit. It's just straight up, hey, level up. Uh, Well, it's usually, uh like... Team Roses is pretty good. Uh, I also like Team Sonic mainly because when you uh, tornado afterwards, Sonic will just home in on every single enemy in sight at that yeah. point and just kill them all automatically. Holy little shits! <laughs> Don't make me bust out cheese. That's even worse <laughs> yeah, for you. No, she's not doing shit. You're gonna <laughs> fart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to make sure I was heat row reading that. Actually, I want to wait until this wave goes by because I've gotten cucked by those in midair before. Get back here, shocker! <laughs> you can't escape me! Get back here, shocker! I'll what? chase you to the ends of the earth! What was even the context for him being so angry at shocker well, I, think, I think he had the Venom suit on. Yeah, it was the symbiote. He, he was possessed by the symbiote and, you know, he's going extreme vigilante at that point. Yeah. Spider-Man? Yeah, Spider-Man. Yeah. Uh, the animated series uh, cutscene specifically. Oh. Ha ha ha! God damn it! <laughs> oh, I'm having a hurry. <laughs> this fucking oh, sucks. My platform's glitching right below me. <laughs> hey, man. Uh, who's that? Hey. Who, who, who did the call? Nice. Oh, how's it going? I'm doing all right. How about you? I'm doing all right. Hold on, let me lower you a bit because your mic is kind of peaking. Uh, sorry about that. Oh, that's cool. Why lower on my end? There we go. All right, Egg Emperor is defeated. Ha! Oh, look at Wildfire. I got that big ass ha 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 emo on the. Uh... <laughs> one one story one story down, three to go. No, yep. not quite. He has to finish yeah. all the A ranks. Well, well no, no, because no, we're gonna we're gonna play, right? we're gonna go through all the stories first and finish the game that yeah. way, and then we're gonna comb through every story. Like we're pretty much doing the Adventure Two thing. Yeah. Hey, oh, by the way, sorry about that. I kind of missed my cue. I think that you one. only oh. missed like what three yeah. or so levels for A ranks on Team Chaos. Uh, I missed so a couple. That... I missed a couple. The only yeah. one that's going to be hard for A ranks is Team Chaotix. Yeah, because they suck. Team Chaotix. 
Chaotix, maybe some dark, possibly, depends on the level. Yeah, it's mostly on Chaotix. Can you hit the chow? Mm -mm. Nope. Aww. Nope. Also, F in chat for Chocolate Chow, who's never seen again after this. Chocolate Chow got fucking taken out back by Metal Sonic. <laughs> No, actually, Chow no, actually here's the thing. Now we're years. not at a point where Matt mentioning his abuse of Chow has the same level of energy of Crusty Clown voicing his doll lines in the studio for five <laughs> seconds. <laughs> hey, hey, see Matt. <laughs> I hate Chow. What did I just walk into? What did I just walk into? Yeah. <laughs> I'm scared. Uh, I was like, what was that? Uh, hey, Linky, how's it going? How goes um, how goes the Xbox One XLs? Well, Microsoft's got to be so uh, happy about that. <laughs> They're so wonderfully excited, though. Guess what? We're having more PlayStation pre-orders tomorrow. Yay! Hey, oh, wait wait a minute. Hold on a second. Wait a minute. I'm, this I'm is different. My order yes. Is this something exclusive to the Xbox version? What's up? The credits are playing. You know how they always play the FMVs? If yeah. For the, uh, yes. the credits song? The, you the, the you never... All. You, no, you can actually hear the FMVs. What? Yeah, the FMV what? audio is playing. Well, hmm. Yeah, that's, that's really weird. That's is that something... weird. Is that there something for the cool. Xbox version? Or is it like 360 emulation issue? That's no, that, that can be emulations. I think that, 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 that had to be a hard disk issue. Yeah. 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 Microsoft paid more. <laughs> because, I, because, because, like, Microsoft, these, Microsoft paid more so you can pay for $220 I, memory I, I, think, I think these credits oh, are pre -re I think these credits are pre-rendered, so that would yeah. have to be a conscious choice at that point. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what it is? I bet they had to make fucking new credits for this version. Or actually, did the Xbox version come later, or was it? Really I think it. Same time? Well, no, the GameCube one was the first version, and then the no yeah. GameCube, GameCube, Xbox, then Sony. Sony was the last of it. Yeah. Man, the, the PS2 version was that bad. Mm. The PS2 version was suffering from. Uh, there was actually some sort of third-party software involved in it. I think it was called something like middleware, which caused the fuck-ups within the Sonic Heroes, which caused the fuck-ups within the PS2 version. Hmm. It was it was an engine problem that they couldn't port over correctly, and Sony was like, "Get it out now, we don't care." And so it was like, "Okay." That or get the night company. That Sonic, go fast. Favor. Port fast. <laughs> and then Sony would so, take that uh, advice to mind when porting. Yeah, yeah, no shit. Like, the the Xbox <laughs> team probably <laughs> forgot to mute the audio. Yeah, they they, yeah. they, they didn't check the mute icon. Uh, Karao says uh, renderware. Renderware. That it was, was the name of it. it. Yeah, uh, and Tom uh, verifies. Renderware that was causing the issues on PS2 is the same engine as uh, GTA 3, Vice City, and San Andreas. Wait, hold on. Like, Whoa. Really? Renderware, Sonic came Renderware from GTA? Was... Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's not so much that Heroes was made in Renderware, where is that they had to port they had Heroes to, port it, to right. Renderware to make yeah. it work on the PS2. Yeah. And that right, exactly. Wow. So uh, what can we use? Well, we got the Grand Theft Auto engine. All right. <laughs> All right, give him a gun. You know, <laughs> you know that, that makes Dex this paradise fit more now. Yeah, and it also explains Shadow the Hedgehog. Um, no, Shadow the Hedgehog was just the people up, the higher ups just taking a shit in their pants. No, uh, the, it's the higher ups thinking what they know about Western audiences. What's on like the Hedgehog? Yeah, I know, and they took a shit in their pants on that one. Yeah, they really Man, got fucking everything was on renderware back then. Also, wait, no, because Sonic the Xbox version was on renderware. It was just there in the credits. Hmm. No, no, we're talking about the PS2 version. Yeah, I know, but the PS2 version... Renderware is PS2 compatible. Yeah, yeah. But I think for the issues... Um, I think the issues were for Sonic Heroes specifically. I think you can't take them out of the credits, though. Huh. And now the music just awkwardly cut off. <laughs> okay. <It's> like, <laughs> the, the credits will last longer than the actual music itself. Uh... That's going to make the credit, you know, without ending music, credit reading is really fucking awkward. Yeah, it really is. Oh, man. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not looking forward to the end of the uh, true story or the actual good song of it. just does not play all the way. I'm going to like, oh, no. <laughs> oh. uh, ch Chat is wondering what else was renderware of uh, fucking everything, but mostly sports yep. games. Yeah. Water and water and water, 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 water,
imagine if your first story time through wasn't really entertaining. I'd be like, try another story. Fuck you. <laughs> um, no. Also, right. I, I I was just looking at that render. Why is Rouge's head look significantly better than like significantly bigger than every other character <laughs> in know, that render? I don't know why. Discrepancy between because the render and the bottle. Because, because she's the only character in the story with a brain. Uh, she works out at the library. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, so Hacks, for Rouge the Hacks. next the next story, uh, we are actually we're gonna Sanic. go Sanic? We're Sonic gonna go the Octopath route. We're gonna spin All right, that we're wheel. Doing chaos. We're gonna spin that wheel. So you guys know how this works. Uh, just spam in the chat who you want to win. I'm gonna hit the wheel three times, and then whoever I want to win on it. <laughs> you See, want, you I, shit. I, I remember the first time going through Heroes. I think I did Rose, Chaotic, Sonic, and Dark for whatever reason. Mm. I don't know why. Oh, <laughs> but you were a dumb. I'm what? seeing all the chaotics in the chat. All right, let's let's find out. We're gonna spin that wheel. Turn, what? turn, turn. What's that, Team Hooligan? Yeah. <laughs> Last story. <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> well, no, that was one doing? spin. That was one spin. No, I spun it three times. Oh. I hit the button three oh. times. Okay. <laughs> one who won. Chaotix. Hey, we well, just got to over with. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, are you ready for some brain damage? You know. <laughs> You know, Mussolini was right. Democracy is wonderful in practice. If wonderful in theory, a practice of failure. <laughs> Wait, right, that's so not democracy. Know. It's a spin of the wheel. <laughs> All right. All right. So we're going to just, I guess we're going to get Team Chaotix out of the way. Yeah, so Team Chaotix is my least favorite team of the uh, the game. And hey, Team Chaotix fucking blows. Yeah, I, I, I'm not yeah. a fan of the mission structure. Uh, well, more like the... The item hunts, basically, because that's that's the entire game. Basically, you have to look for a certain amount of things, activate a certain amount of things, you know, destroy a certain amount of things. It's basically you shadow the hedgehog before shadow the hedgehog. The the big difference between shadow the hedgehog and chaos is that at least for most of the missions, you don't you only have to get about half of the items uh, unless you're playing the extra missions. Then they'll require you to get all of them. And Chow the Hedgehog, the problem is they want you to get every single last item in every mission. Yeah. And that's so, why the first one too. Also, and at the t also at the time, sorry, Mighty the Armadillo, you were not invited to this detective agency. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, it's no okay. mighty. Somewhere in the saloon. It's hey, sub bomb. Thank you very much, Orion Thune, for the sub bomb. Much love and appreciation. Thank you. Uh, what were you saying, Nor? Tonight's session's brought to you by Brain Damage. <laughs> in more ways than one. Just a bit of get away. <laughs> And by Poland Spring. Oh, proud makers of water, red water, red water, water. water. <laughs> no, not again. Water, 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 water. <laughs> oh, please, I'm drowning. <laughs> why? Uh, also, a question: Why does why does why does Eggman want team? Wow! Wow! <laughs> Wowzers! <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, in, 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 the, in the chat, speaking of water. <laughs> what happened? What happened? Johnny went into the loop, the programming shit, the bed, and he fell into the water and water and water, 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 water. I thought we were playing Heroes, not 06. <laughs> no, heroes six, like, oh, 06, I go through the loop. They just flinged you off. I just flinged, I just got flinged off. No, you see, if you were playing 06, you would be standing on top of the loop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, there's Upside no physics. down. <laughs> With no Not physical. physically on top of the loop, but inside of the loop. <laughs> Man. The poop loop. I knew what I was in for in 06 when I fucking started playing that game got stuck at the beginning, like, top of the loop. All right, Hermit Crab. That's the name of the game for this yep. stage. So we gotta find why did, Hermit Crab. Why does Eggman want right, the chaotic? Hey, hey, do, well, no, he, no, this this stage specifically is him testing Chaotix. Yeah. Um, to All see right, if they're killed. let's capable. go to the pet store. Find the crabs. <laughs> Oh, let's go down to the red light district. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, crap, no, right? no. <laughs> also, I uh, just gotta say, considering um, Archie, wow, the the, the the chaotic lyrics are a lot harsher to him in hindsight now that I think about it. What do you yeah. mean? Why? What, what do you mean? Uh, like, there's a lot, there's a line in the song, like, you, you think you would have to be brain damaged just to think that you could get away. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Don't say that word! 
<laughs> what brain damage? <laughs> we actually did get that in the Archie comics. Uh, oh, I know. I sworn there was. A... Oh wait, wait I, have to, I think I have to remember it. This. <laughs> Charmy, won't... Charmy won't remember that. <laughs> Charmy won't remember that. <laughs> I break the that... Huh? Charmy is like the world's strongest bee at this point, dude. Look at that shit. <laughs> oh, Charmy is like Charmy's like one of the best characters in uh, Knuckles Chaotix. If you never played, oh that. yeah, because he can fly forever. He never gets tired. See, I'm just waiting for like the death battle analysis that's just like is saying like Charmy can carry a full grown size alligator. <laughs> Which is the same power of 5,000 quadrillion tons at TNT. <laughs> <laughs> you all right there? You sound like you're struggling to breathe there. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Don't have a character tick, Mac will point it out. <laughs> hey, uh, JB, thank you for the bits. I appreciate it. Thank you. That's not something you can break. All right, you just fly around. Yeah, you just move it. <laughs> yeah. I'm at Which you never do in any other levels of the, of the game. Yeah, I know. That's the weirdest shit. It's only here. As far as I know. Remember, anyway. Uh, I'm trying to think. Do you do that? You... Did I miss a crab? I don't know if I miss a crab. Uh, no, there's uh, one on a platform uh, coming right up here to the left. Yeah, but that's basically Did... the, the gist of uh, Chaotix. is taking alternate pathways to find the shit that you need. Which, you know, I did a lot in, well, not particularly with Chaotix playthroughs, but I certainly haven't done that whenever I play Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Right. I take my path, I take my time and look through every fucking pathway I want to see all the golden rings I can find. Yeah. And I usually Again, have Piper Knuckles by, like, stage two. <laughs> Again, like, with, with Chaotix, like, it's, in general, their levels aren't too bad. It's mainly the ones of that where you're required to get every last item is when it gets Mystic bad. Castle. Yeah, Mystic Castle's probably the worst of it. <laughs> Mr. Uh, Castle uh, and uh, uh, Grand Metropolis, I feel. Or something Grand Metropolis, worse. yep, those are the two. <laughs> those are the Grand two. Grand Metropolis Grand was the one with the turtles, right? Yeah, yeah. well, destroy all the enemies, basically. The, destroy all the enemies. Uh, it's, uh, oh, right. It's, yeah. the chemical, it's the level after that. That's the gold to turtles one. Oh, okay, yeah. Say there. That one suck fucking balls. I am laying down in the middle of the floor of GameStop right now, just questioning Wait, Wayne right now. At GameStop? <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, there was one down here. <laughs> he works there. <laughs> I know, yeah, I'm, just there. Th I'm just thinking, like, in the middle of the floor of the GameStop. <laughs> no, I'm not in the middle of the floor. <laughs> I mean, I can go ahead and start doing that for you, John. That, that's well, still one of the weirdest. That's still one of the weirdest Homer Simpson clips. Right? <laughs> part, of the, part of the good run. All right, you'll get your digital pen, but that's it. Yeah. That's it. Nano <laughs> 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 plan. Lisa needs braces. Nano plan. Lisa, hey, Homer, you're still here? Jeez, you are slow. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 we're not doing this thing. We're not doing this today. <laughs> so, hey, I ain't saying nothing. We've learned it down to Johnny Tight Lips or Larry the Squealer. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I want to go test drive the new hybrid. You are a hybrid. Half moron, half idiot. <laughs> Whoa! Where did that come from? <laughs> Bam! Mm. Yeah, it's charming. It's appropriate. Yeah, I think that one's because of level ups that you didn't get that long, probably. Johnny tight ass. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's your boy, Johnny tight ass. <laughs> Here with another epic yeah, game review. Another, another Raycon sponsor. <laughs> Tight ass no. sounds to me kind of like These a, a tight, tight like my ass. <laughs> you think Raycon would, have, would allow it if you said that on your next uh, question <laughs> for them? I don't know. Sometimes I feel like you're pretty passive aggressive with some of the sponsor content. No, it's no, like, no, yeah, no, I'm doing this for a paycheck. For next manscaped, <laughs> uh, manscaped. I, think, I think the most, like, fucking yeah, I'm doing this for a paycheck I've ever seen was... I was watching some dude's video. He was talking about how he wished okay. that fucking Raid Shadow Legends was sponsored so he could get that fat, fat paycheck. <laughs> Check this email. There's a Raid Shadow Legends thing. And then it just immediately cuts to him in a Raid Shadow Legends t-shirt. <laughs> 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 
Oh, yeah, Johnny, the mirror does it look like you can handle this much better than you could when we were doing it. I'm barely computer. tilting the analog stick. Oh, no, yeah, say, like, I, even that, it looks like you're handling it a lot better I, than the um. I, I swear, I don't fit, like, chat says there's not a difference. I swear, Team, like, the other characters control better than Team there, Rose and Team. There isn't I, a difference in the special stick. <laughs> But I think it's like after a while you just psychologically convince yourself. It's kind of placebo. Maybe it's because you start with Team Rose, so like. maybe. Oh yeah, yeah. Because by that time you're used to it. But you can't attribute that to just characters controlling better. It's just you getting used to it. It's like right now I'm gonna fucking go ape shit because I'm going so fast. Spirits unite. Man, I'm glad. Wasn't that a Final Fantasy movie? movie? The spirits uh, within. Oh. Which is also I, I the guess. name of a paladin ability in 14, and you think that we want to forget that. <laughs> Kev Launong had that as one of his HP attacks in NT the City. Yeah. Audio glitch? No, somebody sounds. was listening to something on their phone and left their mic on. Ninky. <laughs> I saw his Discord icon. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what did I do? We heard someone's phone do? going off in the uh, in the background. They didn't mute their uh, mic. I thought you like listening to a YouTube video. <laughs> no, you're watching the live stream on your phone. <laughs> Get God, I wish I can, but apparently I can't like do dual audio. So I basically just like right, listen to the rest of the chat. There's just one chat. I think this one's just like get to the end though. So Yeah. Uh the extra mission for this one is get to it without being detected. Oh boy. Stella. Yeah. I thought it, well in that case you just do uh SBO's a tornado spin to make him invisible and play the level as much as possible. That's always so. annoyed me with one of the things that always annoyed me with Chaotix Eggplate is that you gotta go through the mission without getting detected, and you essentially turn like one of the most fun levels into a really, really boring stealth mission. Yeah. Yeah. There's always a way to. There's, they always think it's like a really interesting take on something. In reality, it's just a pain in the fucking ass. I would have to agree. Uh, God, I don't remember how Chaos Emeralds carry over. I think. Uh, all four I, teams share them. Yep, they all, all four teams share them. Okay, uh, but that but that's if that's I go for the Chaos Emerald in Ocean Palace, does that only count for the o Chaos Emerald in Ocean Palace, or is it just the next attempt? Uh, it's just it, for the Ocean Palace. Yeah, it, it they're tied to the zone. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. It's like Sonic Advance. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, just don't do what I did, and just basically got all. Let's see what's up there. 48 or fuck, I can't do <laughs> All 48? <laughs> 48 <laughs> chaos, everyone. <several. laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> fuck, I will go back Dude, to the arch. Actually, anyway, speaking of Archie. <laughs> to, be, to be fair, to be fair, when I, was, when I was young playing the game for the first time, I thought, like, oh, literally, it's like the Sonic 3 sort of thing. It's like, all right, so I guess I can get all the chaos emeralds for them, so I like get Super Sonic. <laughs> go ahead, go. Chaos emeralds for like, Team K. Uh, there team was, like, chaos. different forms of Sonic when he was Dimension Hop, and it's like before the Adventure Era began, or it might have been around the Adventure Era when it began. And uh, there was like a, there was, was like there? a dimension like he had a different form for like every dimension that he went into, and I think at one point he dimension hopped so much it, it eventually gave him the long quills and the green eyes, and that's how they explained away his new adventure looks. And then I, they hmm. then they then they gave some then they made Amy like absorb some. Uh, she made a wish her. to an emerald, yeah, and she wished to be four years older. <laughs> Just four. What a specific number. Yeah, I know. Free, and meanwhile, Frieza wishes to be a few centimeters taller. Yeah. <laughs> Bomo wants to be five years younger. I just want panties. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oolong. Huh? So the, the very, okay, the very first wish in Dragon Ball was they needed to stop Pilaf from wishing to take over the world. And the yeah, I remember that. Pilaf. Okay. Yeah, then there's the Red Ribbon guy who just wanted to be taller. The command, the second in command, Commander, Commander Black was no, but the second in command, Commander Black went, motherfucker, what? And Stop they killed him. Yeah. yeah. You basically. Uh, Static Man says she wished to be 16. She was eight, so just double her age, basically. Wait, she's 16 in Archie. What? Uh, Amy? What? Are you sure? I thought it was just 12. No, I thought they, I thought they had to 12, like, yeah. yeah, they had to, they had to go with the games. Yeah, because because yeah. Sonic is 15, Tails is eight, Amy's. What? Let's look it up. Yeah, let's look it up. Yeah, let's look it up. Let's look it up. Scared. They have a. They have a. Just lifted it. You say scared. Oh no, my browser history. Amy is physically seventeen in the in the pre Genesis wave world. Age eleven. What? What? So yeah, she did age herself up to sixteen in Archie. So at least Sonic's age. She's older than Sonic. No, no, she's same age as Sonic. Cause Sonic is sixteen. Yeah. I thought he was 15. No. Oh, fuck. Oh, 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 fuck this. <laughs> Ten fenders. <laughs> no. no. That was Sally. Ugh. Yeah, I know. Ugh. 
<laughs> so this is our weekly fuck benders sort of block right now. <laughs> it it's it's fuck pender so long as we're in this game. <laughs> it's time for everybody's seg favorite segment. I just want to know why the hell pender. did it? Th why the hell did it take them so many goddamn years? to finally cover up Sally's chest <laughs> with the Genesis reboot. I well, feel see, like... <laughs> I feel like someone on the staff was really hard pushing for Sally's OG design. Yeah. Because, man, they really sexualized her up super hard in some of those issues. I mean, like, there's, there's, the there's issues of... There's issues Damn. of fucking RG Sonic where everyone looks like actual people with animal heads. Oh yeah, god. Like Remember, Roosh. Remember knees? Yeah. <laughs> knees and elbows. <laughs> Wait, what? Roosh. There were there were there were issues back in the day where all the characters had like visible knees and elbows. They were they yeah. anatomically they were becoming more and more human, which was really weird. Like I, was, I said it twice already though, it's like Roosh. Well, the big reason for that was Archie did not hire, like, their artists from, you know, the furry circles that you would think people would hire Sonic artists from, but from the superhero <laughs> artists in circles. So, they were getting superhero and, like, human-drawn people to do the art. So we didn't get, like, a photo of uh, Sonic puffing his chest out like that one image of Captain America? God, the one where he has, like, no, 18 Rob, No, Rob, Rob Liefeld has never drawn Sonic's head. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of wish he had. I want to see that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> okay, who would who would be a worse artist for Sonic the Hedgehog? Rob Liefeld or uh, McFarlane? Todd McFarlane? Uh, uh, you see, I, I feel like Todd McFarlane uh, would at least like, draw uh, them confidently, like, somewhat confidently, you know? Yeah, yeah like, McFarlane's got uh, some wild stuff in his style that I think he could make some interesting takes on the characters. Farland could probably do like Sonic. Farland could probably do Sonic well if Farland takes his medicine. Yeah. No, you know what I want to see? I want to see fucking Greg Land Sonic comics. Oh God. <laughs> Who? <laughs> Who's he? Uh, uh, Greg Land is the guy who is constantly getting in trouble for tracing in every comic he's ever done, and usually tracing from porn stills. Oh. oh. Be I don't want to see that in Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Keep your porn out of my Sonic. Huh. Oh fuck. Uh, what has Greg Land worked on? I don't know in detail. I know he's done Power Girl a few times. Um. Cause I, boy, howdy, I'm oh. sure have seen a lot of fucking Power Girl orgasm faces when, when, I've, seen, when I've seen his art. Uh, I'm getting a lot of that, bees in this when you notice that. Better or worse than Dull Surprise? I'm getting cursed by Charmy. I'm getting nothing but bees. Bees! It's hip to fuck bees. <laughs> fuck bees! <laughs> fuck. Don't play that, you will get your Vaughn muted. <laughs> Oh my god, it's been two hours and I haven't had a single customer. <laughs> and I haven't had a single customer! <laughs> customer! <laughs> customer! <laughs> it's it's a rank B! <laughs> <laughs> it's a rank B! Rank B! There you go. But I thought this was an A rank run. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Charmy, what are you doing? Stop putting B's on everything. We totally hit it A with it's that one, It's right? to do reasonably well in school, but not too well. <laughs> <laughs> the tallest tree catches much wind. <laughs> Don't overachieve, kids. You'll burn out. It's true. Don't do it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> It's That's called senior lesson. slack for it's called senior slack for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. I'm hungry. Let's homing oh, attack. Let's, let's make a homing attack like change to the next platform, but give the enemies health. <laughs> Jeez, we had an it. idea here. It's gone now, though. I oh, think yeah. you can jump back up to that platform. Uh, though. probably I can. I meant to do this sort of thing. Can I not? Can Espio's thing? Okay, yeah, it does. It just it's getting it real close. Yeah. No, with, the, with uh, the regular shell ones, you just want to do uh, the just vector him. The spin tornado. Uh, yeah, yeah. The suspicious machine. Because it, yeah, it's the it's the gold ones you gotta uh, flip over first. Or if you got like level three power, then you can just like. 
Oh, sick! Oh, Someone posted Greg Land's Iron Man in the chat. Oh boy. No oh. idea. We'll post that in the Discord. I'll post that in the Discord. Oh yeah, I'll, oh, yeah, I'll post that in the Discord. Hey, Buzzard Horse, thank you very much for a tier 3 sub. Holy fuck. Oh god, what is that? <laughs> Oh God! What is that? Hold on, now I have to look at this. Sorry, or, like, what am I this looking is at? Very it's Iron Man. Oh my God! Is it in this one? That looks oh, like Iron Man God. with the, like the plastic skin all over his fucking face. What the fuck? Iron Man has become melt. This the skin, the iron melted on Iron Man. Yeah, and now you can like mesh with his face. Somebody edited that to make it a Pogger's face. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. <laughs> Oh, he's pogging so hard. <laughs> Actually, this it's is really hard. bad. I'm going to make this my webcam for the rest of the night. <laughs> no! no! If anything, for the, for the text alone, no! the text alone speaks to me. Yeah, it's called, it's called the year 2020. <laughs> <laughs> Although I think, uh, I think I saw Matt post something that was also really good for it uh, the other day. The uh, Spongebob one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It, it was uh, March 2020. Batten down. It's like but, no, the hatches, hatches, Mr. Mr. Squidward. Squidward. April twenty three. We're taking all the water, Mr. <laughs> Squidward. Squidward. May, Mommy, Mommy, Mr. Mr. Squidward. <laughs> 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 I'm half tempted to make this my Discord profile picture, and I don't lie. <laughs> oh, Christ. <laughs> oh, Christ. <laughs> oh, shit. I dropped my cookie again. <laughs> oh, Christ. Oh, uh, Linky has left us because he's been caught slacking off at work. Yeah. <laughs> Which, they don't give a shit, but... <laughs> Principal thing. <laughs> okay, the, the rainbow loops don't have to work, I guess. Yeah, uh... Do they, power they, you didn't, those, you uh, didn't go uh, figure it fast enough. Because I, I think fly formation really only works with, um... The... Like specific fly formation, uh, the ranks for that. Here we go. I <laughs> Although I do like Espion's Poison Heroes. It's really deep. Yeah. If, if I remember right, I think it was uh, Espio was the uh, voice director. Uh, his wife voiced Cream, and their son voiced Tails. I believe, if I remember right. Yeah, because Tails in this game. Sounds like uh, a was that? Sounds like no, a he, he actually was a like a, a eight year old boy or some other thing. Yeah. yeah. What's up? Yeah. yeah, basically. Uh, t I think Tails is the same actor from Adventure Two. No, it's not. No, it's um, not. Um, no. Uh, the, the voice actor for the voice actor for Tails was I forget was it was this one kid. Adventure Two was that kid's brother, brother, I think. Uh, and okay. then they got somebody else entirely for heroes. And then after Heroes, they just went with an actress. Yeah, I believe... Because after Heroes is when they switched to the four kids cast, yes. right? Yes. Yeah, uh, uh, starting with... Sort of. Yeah, starting with... Uh, well, event, well, Advance 3, 3 was, was the last yeah. of the original. Yeah. And then... No, but yeah, but the, then, she said uh, starting with Shadow, though, they would go to four kids. So that's yeah, actually... Yeah, and then yeah. Rush and Shadow would use uh, four kids on... You're a super powered three foot hedgehog. Hey, that's an easy check. <laughs> <laughs> Let's cash in with Sonic Speed. Let's go. <laughs> Wait, did I just see two enemies drop down? Okay. Yep, yeah, they just were right past you. Yeah, yeah, okay. Wait. Wait, what? Wait a no, minute. I couldn't tell if that was just uh, robot debris or more robots dropping down. <laughs> Um, minority opinion, like, before it gets bad, I guess. Well, admittingly, 
I always like I like the four kids cast once we did once it got to unleash in Black Knight because then they got the new voice direction at that point. Uh, yeah, also. early voice, your early vocal direction was a fucking nightmare. Yeah, I still remember it, how bad Kuja was in the City of One before proper direction really got the actor to bring out the best thing Kuja from this for the City of Dual Destiny. That, that's usually the thing that like really kills a lot of game dubs because most of the time the actors they get are competent, but if you don't have a good voice director, there's not yeah. much you can do. Like Kuja, Kuja, Kuja was pretty much again use the city as an example. Kuja was pretty much told, "Watch this and imagine what he sounds like." Hey, like, remember fucking uh, FF10 where they had to sync up all of their lines with the Japanese lip syncing because they didn't want to redo it. Yeah. That completely fucked up Hetty Burris for uh, Final Fantasy X when she was trying to do Yuna. But that's yeah. why she got Yuna much better in X, too. Yeah, because they actually took a time to... Oh, that's right. It doesn't take me to the thing already. Right. <laughs> yeah. Um, like, that's why uh, usually when I'm reviewing, uh, if it's, like, a consistent weird thing with voice acting for the entire cast, I usually put that on voice direction more than an actor yeah. uh, for that. Cause, Absolutely yeah. agree. Also, I, I want to go back to what that person said about a uh, minority opinion. There is no such thing as a minority opinion, Sonic. It, it, there is just no, opinions. Yeah. There, yeah. Is, there, <laughs> there, there, there are so many different and contrasting opinions with the Sonic franchise because of how splintered the fan base is. It's just yeah. a opinion. Like, you, it's like, uh, okay. It's an always, opinion, and it's also usually shit. <laughs> I always bring this up in my Discord, but like a pet peeve of mine just for like of like a language being is like, when people say of like, is it just me or what? That like, pisses like, me off. Yeah. yeah. That pisses me the fuck off. I'm like, okay, just like, don't use that because no, you're not the only one with that opinion. Someone else has it. Like, no, I actually, actually, I straight up divorce and I'm like, yes, of the 7 billion people in the world, you're the only person who thought this, you magnificent little special <laughs> fucking child. <laughs> and I tell me you're a dick. I just wanted to say the opinion, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Opinions are like assholes. Everyone's got one. They all stink. <laughs> Jesus Christ! And I was like Matt the fascist today or something. Sonic heroes, Sonic heroes, everyone. <laughs> now this game doesn't make me as angry as fucking forces did. Oh, forces made you angry. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, like I said, not like. I mean, not I, angry in terms of bad game. Angry is it? Well, bad game, yeah. But angry, like compared to Boom, where it was like, at least I understand why Boom went wrong. What the fuck was Forces' excuse? Uh, to this forces. day, to this day, I'm still convinced. Like when it came to Forces, like I, I really feel like just from what I played, they legitimately forgot they were supposed to be fucking doing something. Uh, I mean, honestly, the big issue with Forces is that no one who fucking worked on Forces uh, had worked on Sonic before. Yeah, and it shows. I mean, it's like nowadays, I feel like Rise of Lyric is bad, but like you can now clearly see why it was the way it was because Sega screwed over Big Red Button so hard. Oh, yeah. Oh, they fucked that shit over. Ro they fucked them royally. Like, I, feel, I feel so bad for them because Sega went with them with an idea. They did exactly what they asked for, and then Sega screwed, just kept screwing over their project over and over and over and over. For fun details, watch the what happened on the video on that. Yeah. <laughs> I actually really like the video from Matt. Yeah, like that one made me feel bad for them. And then like the, the 06 one was interesting because like, you know, I've always heard for years of what went wrong with 06, but I never heard about that specific like part of why it went wrong there. The kind of deal, the stuff he brought back, up. Please. Is there a way I can go back up? Do I need to use a flower? I really don't want to have to go to the entire station game because I missed that fucking platform. You can't just jump off okay, and then yeah, go I back can, and kill them again. No, no, no. I can actually make that ledge. All right, that's fine. Yeah, because these are the three robots that I missed. The one yeah, just thunder. You can just uh, thunder shoot them. Yeah. Yeah, because I was. I mean, folks. Um, in case it wasn't really obvious at this point, I don't expect A ranks first time. Like for a yeah. lot of these missions, we're going to be revisiting a lot. Again, like this is one of those missions where you got to do every single one of them, and that's where chaos is really bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Your training has been a waste of time. I don't. I don't train in Sonic here. Okay, Espio is really fucking harsh. Like with the ranks. Like holy shit. What? Why is he say for E rank? It's been so long. It's like uh, it was like unacceptable. It's like it's like your <laughs> your training like didn't pay off at all. Some other shit. Charmy, Charmy, I got an E rank here. Charmy, you should kill yourself. 
In my in my made up Japanese culture, we commit seppuku. You're a chameleon, dude. <laughs> you know you're American, right, SPO? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude, you're a fucking weebo. It was like he'll no, fuck right think... in with that chip Santa. No, you see, it, it kind of yeah. always reminds me of like, say, uh, Simon Blackwell in Ace Attorney, where like, like he's trying real, like I always imagine he's like the way to try really hard to be yeah. like all Japanese. <laughs> Ryan, if what you're saying is correct, that means that Espio is about to become the new president of a small African kingdom. Excellent. That sounds like something from Archie. <laughs> like, uh, that's what we're talking that's about. Guilty. That's, 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 that's from Guilty Gear. <laughs> yeah, I I know it's from Guilty Gear, but I'm just like that. Also, just sounds like something that would be straight out of Archie. <laughs> <laughs> that would be something Archie would pull. Yeah. Also, to be fair, I could think of worse government leaders than SBO in the Sonic cast. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh Christ! This person of Trump. What's he want now? <laughs> Oh, my oh no, we did a fascism, oh boy. What am I- This is what my taxpayer dollars are going oh, through. made it about himself again. That took three seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Golden Turtle is just the name of the game for this one. Yep. Yeah. A... Why the hell did Rouge vote for him? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh Christ. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have to that. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, no. You are, you are weak. You can't, you actually cannot blame Trump for that one. No, that was I all you did. <laughs> <laughs> I demand the, I demand the cycling beat where, like, he fell over on the side. <laughs> You fool! You activated my trap. <laughs> it's like you <laughs> fool! Like, like fucking like, like fifty-eight minutes in, like fifty-eight minutes in, I was literally like, "Fuck this!" <laughs> it just leaves. <laughs> like, what was I thinking? <laughs> oh man, did anybody clip that? Oh, Give us some time. I, again, please. Uh, for Twitter now, I All just right, want the meme where the guy like puts the rod into the bike Why and he falls over on the side. All I did was press start. I pressed start. Okay, continue is highlighted by default. All right. You need this to watch that. Won't be right back. <laughs> Johnny's just trying to myth bust his song. How did that happen? <laughs> Uh, Alright, I gotta go grab food. Hey, go do that. <laughs> Man, fuck yours. Let's do a six already. <laughs> <laughs> I got awfully quiet here. <laughs> I'm just waiting to get back to uh, the My brother's cooking steak. I smell it upstairs. I see she should be here any minute now. I remember food. <laughs> <laughs> food was great. <laughs> I mean, that has been one thing this year. It's like it's forced me to try a, a bunch of different cooking stuff just so I can have variety again. <laughs> Dude, I've been doing that too. My cooking skills have actually improved. But at the same time, it's like tonight, I'm like, I got a sink full of dirty dishes. I'm too fucking lazy to clean them. Lazy sushi. Ah, <laughs> uh, I see. It's me, it's me making it's oven or chicken for the ninth night in a row. <laughs> okay, I swear that Team Blast lasts longer in this version than it does in the GameCube version. <laughs> What? Just like the singing in general? Yeah, because I, I swear it's shorter in the GameCube version. Do I have oh, to hit Oh, you can just team blast him. Oh, can I just team blast him? Yeah, it goes through the uh, gr it goes oh, through the grates. Okay. So, cool. Thank you. 
I was gonna say, you fucking liar. <laughs> <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> I, was just, I was about to be like, I swear to God, if that's just a GameCube thing. <laughs> Where am I landing here? Um, uh, I think head back down. Yeah, uh, so I was looking for the place to fall down to. I'm gonna head down here. Yeah. You just fall, Johnny. You just fall. <laughs> just let go. Let go. <laughs> let go. Give up all material possession and just let go. <laughs> oh, but, oh, by the way, what's everyone think of the Stadia 2 today? Oh, the Amazon Luna, was Wait, it? What? Yeah. Amazon's yeah. doing their own Stadia thing. Oh, you mean the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller? <laughs> yeah, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> fucking love it. That's what I it is. Oh, I can't believe Jeff Bezos fucking looked at the, uh, at the stadium and was like, yes. This is the success we need to emulate and compete with. I don't. I, I wonder if he thinks it is just simply an issue of just throwing enough money at it. Okay. Uh, uh, but if he's a, if he's a billionaire, problem? yes. I was gonna say, welcome to rich people. How rich people solve their problems? Yeah. Because it's gonna it's gonna flop. Like it's just gonna be Stadia again. Bezos, yeah. gonna, Bezos, rather than you know spending his money to actually fix the problems that are plaguing America. Would rather just try to throw money at something, fail, and go, oh, fuck it, I still got oodles of money. You know, video games are a good distraction. Levy of so, uh... <laughs> it's, the same, it's the same way that fucking Epic solves all their problems. The Epic Game Store is still a goddamn nightmare to use. Yeah. And, but they're still throwing tons of money at getting exclusive games for it because they think if they throw enough money at it, they can get a user base worth uh, selling. Me you know, have... the, only, the only reason I ever use the Epic Games so Store uh, is just for the free games like that they put on time to time, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, the only reason I ever put money into there is just for Unreal at, uh, Engine assets like that to experiment with. But that even then, that's for more work-related stuff than gaming. <gasps> yeah. I mean, hell, fucking... Every game that I know that is gone from... The Epic being Epic Game Store exclusive to having a Steam version has sold way more once they got the Steam. Yeah. I think we fucked up. It's almost like it's almost, it's almost like everyone already has Steam and doesn't have a need for another client. You know what? Let's make our own. It's also Quiet. nice to have a launcher that doesn't regularly fuck up the patches. Yeah. And having a store that actually works. <laughs> I was like, Linky was inside the Microsoft's board of directors meeting there for a split second. <laughs> You know the Epic Games Store like, still doesn't have a fucking uh, cart. Oh, oh wait, here, let me check. God. I do not see any kind of Epic Games Store thing on my GameStop wall. <laughs> we got Origin. We got Fortnite, we got Steam, we got World of Warcraft, we got Roblox. What the fuck? Oh, yeah, <laughs> I, yeah, I don't know Roblox. what the hell Roblox is. What the um, fuck is Roblox? Because when parents asked me, I just said, I oh, don't know, it's like Minecraft. Roblox is a mixture of Minecraft, VR chat, and the RP servers they used to play around on when you were 12. Oh, God. My sister is really hard into Roblox RP and loves telling me about her OCs. See, I wasn't really in the RP servers in my I, I just, I just, I just went to a lot of forums. I just went to a lot of porn sites, man. Yeah, of course I do another thing, yeah, but I want I want to form specifically. Because yeah, I really yeah. like hanging in forms. Remember the insider forums, John? I never been inside the insider forums. I've never been inside the insider <laughs> forums. <laughs> Honestly, you see, see the interesting thing with Roblox, there was um there was a job listing on Indeed uh a few weeks back that when I was just applying to different jobs and like there's one for like this mod uh thing for like pets and Roblox and that position was paying like forty five dollars an hour. Oh yeah, why didn't you jump on that? Why did you jump yeah, on no, that? No, I jumped on that. I jumped on that. I didn't get. I didn't get the job. I was just like, "What the hell?" <laughs> now you. Oh, now man. you understand. Kids with their parents' credit cards will pay a lot of money. Right. You know what? Maybe I'm thinking, rethinking my jobs right now. <laughs> I should work with Robux. Yeah. Man. Did the Gareth Gareth Swarm work when BSC was born? Um, John was not on that. Uh, it was just me and Lewis, and it was just kind of a regular old forum at the time. Oh, the Honestly, computer yeah. room forums? Oh, uh, yeah, I've never there's been one right by that. Uh, wait, uh, Johnny, go back. What? There's a turtle right there. Okay, hold on. I'm not paying attention at all. Can oh, I go back from here? I don't think you can. I don't think I can, yeah. I think once you get inside that thing. Yeah. Hey, Johnny, I hurt you. 
Man, I, I mean, there's a there's that. a there's a turtle here. Oh, okay, that just seemed blasted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I kind of wish way, that like internet discourse would go back to being more forum based because holy shit, Twitter is just the worst platform for everything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, speaking of Twitter, John. All right, so I'm, I'm gonna nip something in the bar real quick because I'm kind of seeing some of these. I'm seeing like some of the like the Johns with the ellipses, as if I fucking know this game. Like the back, I don't. <laughs> 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 I hate Team Chaotix and Sonic Heroes. I already don't like Sonic Heroes as much as Adventure One and Two. If you're expecting any sort of competent level of gameplay from me for this game that I don't like going back to, you're in the wrong fucking area. That like, said, what, stay what tuned to my all gold medals win of Sonic 06 in like three years. So, <laughs> like, you know, like that, guys, when we do the A ring stuff, I'm I've done all the A rings for heroes, so I can help out more in there. But for just the initial playthroughs, we're just going through as we're just usual, fucking you know. <laughs> yeah, we're just fucking around, dude. Hey, you over there. <laughs> Rouge's costume doing? is so horny in this game. I think this is, like, her least sexy costume. But I like the BDS outfit. I don't mind this one too much, honestly, uh, for the gameplay one. The CG one doesn't look that good for this outfit. I yeah. have absolutely uh, no opinion. The, the really thing well. is, I don't, ever, I don't ever understood the whole conflict that Rouge points out between them and Chaos. It's like, what? <laughs> hey, you want to start a fight? No. You want to start a fight? No. You want to start a fight? Sure. <laughs> And I think I'm you won. So, I'm sorry. Butter. Oh, nope. Okay, no, I don't think the CG okay, for Sonic Heroes is bad. It's different. It's, per it's perfectly fine for 2003. Yeah. 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 Hey! Like, again, there, it would be uh, really start. I think starting with, uh, you know, for, for all things like uh, 06, actually, their CG team got a lot better at that point. Uh, I mean, they're working with 06's art style, but just in terms of the CG's quality, it's pretty good at that point. Yeah. Let me go, let me go! Did Omega say, well, that's a load off my back. That's literally one of my favorite lines from Omega. Yep. <laughs> Defeated by crew. Now, I also one of the most fun chaotic <laughs> missions. <laughs> God, I'm hungry. <laughs> Wait, I'm you sorry. Oh, gotta go back. Uh, what, what, what can I eat at GameStop? <laughs> Wait, no, what am I doing? Just, oh, yeah, this is the, the ring one. mission. Yeah. Uh, so, Linky, just go eat the used game cases. I'm sure you'll like no, do it. No, I got no, that out, not, so I'll talk uh, to you no. guys all later. All right, right I'm see gonna ya. Take good care, Ryan. Uh, Nor, have you seen who's been touching okay. all of these game cases? <laughs> I would Great. rather eat off the fucking ground than touch any of these game cases. <laughs> and I clean these game cases every night. <laughs> but yeah, uh, th this mission uh, gets a lot more fun because you can actually go to that VIP board uh, with Chaotix. So, where I think like earnings are like tripled on that one. So yes, yes. Uh, is this the uh, collect enough rings to? Yeah, collect, collect two hundred like, rings. Yeah, two hundred. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, you re like you have to go to that VIP section when you're going for the special mission for that one. Oh yeah, because I think it's 500 rings for the extra mission. It, I think it's. I mean, specifically to meet the A rank. You just got to be quick. Yeah, this mission's Wait, more uh, about time than anything for this one. So. Yeah, because you're already getting the ring bonus just for collecting all those rings anyway, so you're good. Just whatever you do. Don't get Don't hit. Get hit. <laughs> the VIP section See, is like that I room loaded him. with like laser barriers, right? Yes. Uh yeah. But you can use SBO's, you know, invisibility to get to past get past it. it. Are they the only team that can get there? I think uh, so. They're the only team I've been able to get up there. With. Legitimately, yeah, yeah. okay. It, it's yeah. it's still loaded in the stages for everyone else. Yeah. Well they kinda have to. Yeah, if anything, the only team that could possibly maybe be able to get there uh, through kind of glitches and stuff is probably Team Dark, but, but that's because they're kind of like close enough to it. Like they, they're like, I yeah, think yeah. they are, they're one of the teams that can basically get near like the platforms where the laser beams are, but I think there's like a door and some lasers where I find it to keep you, keep players. The lasers keep you out. Yep. It's just the plain lasers, like that's it. It's a constant yeah, easier trying to do it like through easy, medium, hard, schizophrenic difficulty. 
Which is kind of strange because Rouge is a thief, and I would think that she'd be able to do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's a thief, but, but she's like the Veggie Fables pirates. They're like pirates who don't do anything. <laughs> she's they a just thief. Get a no, she's a thief, but she's also a cop, so she can only steal from people that are. Uh... <laughs> is she a cop? No, she's a government agent, which is like. That's a cop. Safety, yeah, that's that's a cop. basically a cop. <laughs> Hey, you can't steal that from the bargain bin. It's two dollars, and I work for the agency. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she's still see, like, she's a treasure like... hunter by like by means of hobby, but like officially, she's a government agent. Like she works for yeah. a gun. I can just she's like, no, she's no lock. <laughs> Actually, I could probably. Just... Oh, never mind. Hold on. I thought I had. I still. I thought I still had team blast. I was like, I can just get the rings right now. Rouge, you can't take that. That's stealing. Eminent domain, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> she Does literally goes uh, like a wall. <laughs> I can just like imagine just Rouge is like going to like a shopping center and just like taking playing like a lot of shit in her cart and taking like some like a very expensive stuff. She just walks out of the door and people like try to stop her. She's like, "What? <laughs> what? Well, I'm a cop. What are you gonna do?" Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's temporary, Billy's John. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Oh, I think Dude. that's the first one with Chaotix. Yeah, that's my first day. <laughs> yeah. Wait, did you but get that's one last one? Probably we never have to come back to. Until yeah. the extra mission. Until the extra mission, yeah. Oh. Well, time for bingo chips. <laughs> well, I like rather... Bingo Highway. Bingo Highway is... Bingo! Legit one of my favorite stages. I'd rather, pick my nose I'd, rather pick, I'd rather pick my nose. Oh my god! <laughs> can, can I, dude, can that I time that that part in the SGB play because the one thing the one part I always immediately go back to for SGB uh, Sonic Heroes is the one where we I made everyone sound like Omega. I love uh, that. Was like, dude, that my my yeah. my premiere on my on that rig back then hated that fucking part. Like, <laughs> it, it crashed like three times doing that shit. Even though it's simple audio layering. Premiere hated everything we fucking did. No, Premiere I absolutely hated my LA, the LA Noir edits. I know, that's what I was referring to. Let's go. It's like, fuck you, Johnny, you're not paying for the full profit. No, no I, yes, I am. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you fuck young boys, Premiere. <laughs> Steve Jobs sweats furiously. Oh, God. <laughs> Steve Jobs. <laughs> Oh, yeah, because it was Apple. Oh, if you're just joining in and wondering what the hell is the deal with the Iron Man thing on my webcam, well, uh, that, was, <laughs> that was shared earlier, and I also feel it's my kind of my, it's my thoughts on Team Chaotix, so it's appropriate. So, you know, plus, so. Johnny really didn't want to put a shirt on today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or pants, or... Or anything. <laughs> well, you guys don't even know if I'm wearing pants in the middle of this because you only see the upper part of my body. Oh, your dark side filling it. I see. Yeah. Oh, okay. That sound. All right. You know what? Let me go get pants on right now. Nah. <laughs> don't worry. Running out of the sound effects later. <laughs> Tune in next week for the Going Commando stream. Yeah. <laughs> the Ratchet and Clank one or? <laughs> yep. <laughs> I assume every streamer is not wearing pants until proven otherwise. <laughs> and this is why I would never have a live cam in my streams ever. <laughs> I don't mind doing it because like, people like when the angry bald man gets angry. <laughs> I'm, I kind of want to get in on that VTuber life. I'm not going to lie. No. <laughs> VTuber? Yeah. How um, customizable are VTubers or is it just like a preset? It's actually really simple. It, uh, the yeah. only kind of problem... Oh, go ahead. No, no, no. The, the big issue is just, like, getting a 2D image rig for, rigged for live 2D. Yeah. Or a 3D model if you want to go that way. Yeah. Uh, but as I say, it is quite expensive if you want to go down that route. Though there are, like, some, like, preloaded ones where you can just basically have, like, these generic faces. Like, you have generic face 1, generic face 2, uh, furry guy 1, furry guy 2, furry guy E. Yeah. And, yeah. And I, 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 I think there's some, like, food customizable ones. I can't now remember. Uh, See, I looked this up before. There is like, I, so, someone did make oh, a free yeah. Paisa one if you want to use that for 14 streams. Paisa, really? The little furry creature? <laughs> yeah. See, I, like, I'm surprised it took this long to pick up because I still remember from, like, over, 
four years ago of like Pharaoh basically doing the same thing, but with a Captain Falcon fig for his <laughs> F-Zero ones. Um, I, I think the big thing that really changed the perspective people had on it was Kazuna Eye really taking off. But mm. even then, there were furries doing stuff with face rig and just streaming that way. So it was already like starting to become a thing. Hmm. And now there's a big VTuber agency in Japan called, I think, Hololive. And they're making it like an official thing. Ah. Huh. One of my, some of my friends have gone really far down the fucking VTuber hole recently. So even though I don't, I don't I think it has the same sort of appeal as just making an OC. Yeah. yeah, that's basically it. Like, one of my friends in particular uh, is like, got really down the two rabbit hole, like, just as it started kind of thing. My friends are really into the fucking shark girl. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I keep tabbing the chat and all they post is, ah. <laughs> that's a fucking meme for her streams. <laughs> My favorite thing, though, has just been, like, all the animations coming out of the, the one person doing the Banjo-Kazooie playthrough. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, my favorite has been, like, the crocodile one uh, that's been going around. But in particular, it was, like, one that turns, like, her noises into, like, a bike, and then the bike crashes in, oh like, God. last minute of the video. <laughs> Oh, there's apparently a lot of VTuber fans in the chat, cause they're posting all the memes. Oh, y'all coming in! <laughs> I'm just getting raided by one immediately right now. <laughs> yeah. Not entirely sure if VTubing rating is a thing, but I will gladly take their paycheck. <laughs> uh, I think they mostly stream through YouTube. So. Ah, I see. Oh yeah, hence ah, okay. VTuber. So is, is there yeah. a term for, like, Twitch? Not that I know of. I think I think it's all VTubers. <laughs> it will migrate its way over here at some point. <laughs> <laughs> well, like I said, all you gotta do to become a VTuber yourself, you gotta get that live 2D or face rigged up model. Uh, though, have fun with the face rigging stuff, because boy howdy, they sure did just go full Adobe with that. Yeah. I made sure to get yeah. it before the subscription I stuff started, but fuck. Maybe because, like, I'm working in the 3D, like, you know, artist modeling industry. I wonder, honestly, what the wages for that, like, like commission prices are going to be for that in the future or stuff like um, that. Um, I heard someone, like, I heard someone did one for 80 bucks, but that honestly seems really cheap. Yeah, that seems really cheap on that one, yeah. I, I Especially if... Especially if, if that, like, 80 I would think would just be for the model to rig it as well. Yeah. Like, I, I would definitely charge, like, well over double that. <laughs> no, it, it definitely feels like that person was really hard on selling themselves. Yeah, because, like, even, like, a rigged mo model with that, if, like, professionally done, I would definitely try and sell that for, like, probably 150 or more. <laughs> like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ten elements is estimating five hundred. That sounds right. That sounds. Well, that sounds right. For what? Right, face rigs? No, no, no. For like specifically the face rig model. Yeah, for like creating the three D model and rigging it for like a commission price of five hundred. That sounds more like in the ballpark of that. Yeah. Mhm. Mm is live two D free? I think that's free. Okay. Uh, Maybe free to download. Maybe it has like a premium service. Maybe because the thing is, like, oh, I see a lot of stuff using it now. Not just for like VTuber stuff. Like a lot of mobile games will use it. Vector becomes a VTuber. The V stands for Vector. <laughs> the chat is wondering why I don't have any fun Archie stories for Vector and SPS because I don't fucking know any. Charmy's the one that had all the drama. <laughs> <laughs> but that that said, we welcome any sort of like uh, trivia for Archie involving characters in question. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Vector. Oh. <laughs> All I know is that, like, Vector and his and all of the Chaotix crew were big mainstays of Kenders' run on stuff because Kenders basically had full reign on the Chaotix. Uh, unlike the Sonic comics, where Sega did actually have an expectation of quality. Whereas for the Chaotix stuff, they just fucking let him do whatever. It was supposed to be a tie into a game they didn't expect to do well, anyways. 
Um, and that's kind of how things got to where they are. And that's how Ken Penders learned Christmas. Hey! Yay! <laughs> wow! Just like clean through uh, Casino Park. All right. Good shit. One last level we gotta come back to. True. Yeah. Yeah. I'm surprised because usually this could be kind of a more trouble spot uh, for some people high ranking. So. Doctor Eggman. Well, again, that was just the the, the, the standard missions. Extra missions yeah. might be a completely different story. Yep, now it's time to spam the hell out of Team Blast. And the thing about... Uh, the, the only thing I really like about Team Chaos is Team Blast is that you get rings for every enemy you kill. So yeah. it's basically impossible to die. Yeah, and it continues on while the cooldown uh, gauge is going, too. Yeah. Well, every, uh, um, every Team Blast in this game has a secondary effect. Yeah. Um, Team Sonic... Team Sonic, is... uh, Sonic gets the, like... The, the, he, he gets a souped up uh, tornado shoot. Yeah, and it will home in on every enemy on screen. Right. Uh, Team Dark gets Chaos Control, Chaos Control, where time will freeze up, which can kind of screw them over more than anything. Uh, th Team Rose gets the Gambit, because they all get a level up uh, shield and invincibility during it. And then Chaos gets the ring bonus. Uh, Ready anytime. Hello. Yo. Who are you? Fonte. Oh, I don't know. Hey, Fonte. How's it going, man? You're all right. I got in trouble at work today. Oh. What happened? We you dropped a meeting your this No, we had a meeting at work about COVID compliance, and they were like, remember to be safe at work. I'm like, we work retail. We're forced to not be safe at work. <laughs> oh, tell me about it. They fucking... They've started making us do... Uh... I'm trying to think of how to describe it. It's basically like personal checkouts for people with small orders uh, again, which is unfortunate because boy howdy sure can't social distance when you have to get up in someone's face to scan their item from the TC-70. Mm -hmm. so I got what version of Sonic Heroes are you playing? I'm playing the Xbox version on 360. Oh, the one with the line back of the box. Wait, what? <laughs> hmm? Uh, in the back of the box, it says the game runs at 720p, and it doesn't. Hmm. Hold on a second. I had to check that. Alright, that's a fucking link that I'm gonna put in the, uh, Twitch, uh, Discord. Uh, oh, boy. Yeah, I found this game at a, at a... At a swamp meeting, and I'm like, ooh, this this Xbox seems to have a 720p. No, it's just stuck at 480p. Yeah. Thanks, Sonic Team. Thanks. <laughs> Still he's love that Archie He's channel. absolutely right. Uh, the back of the box says the game runs at HDTV 720p. In uh, 2004? <laughs> yeah. So that was a fucking All right. lot. <laughs> All right. All right. Send, send that shit back to GameStop. Get a refund. It lied to me. <laughs> yeah. Who owns an HDTV in 2003? <laughs> Widescreen, yeah. maybe, but not HD. Remember when it was like a big issue with uh, OG dev pricing that you can see the text on most. Uh, yeah. On yeah. Yeah, I, I remember that. My god. My friend was one of the first fucking people that got an Xbox 360 with that game. We played it on a freaking, like, 20-inch CRT. I miss my old CRT. There's... You know, yeah, I, you know not, I not for nothing, old... though. Like, not for nothing, like, some graphical jank with, like, menus and text aside. This game was really crisp on a 360. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Whoa, guys! <laughs> Jesus Christ, look at your fucking ring counter right now. That's more rings than you got for the mission where you had to collect rings. <laughs> I think this is more rings than you got in the entirety of the yeah, song. Uh, yeah, yeah. Rose playthrough. Yeah. Is it all? Is it? No, you're missing one. Oh, you got it's, it. It's flying around like a little bitch. I think some of the Tony Hawk games run at 1080p, if I recall. I never what really played the Sonic Heroes. Fuck! So Alright. Alright. Uh, I, 
on. Oh. Well, I mean, you're Ooh. not ranked on the rank count anyway. No, but... no, but still. Hitbox is loading before the actual enemies do. It's really not, Vector. It's crazy. My only experience with Sonic Heroes is the Super Mario, no, the Mario Kart Double Dash demo disc. That came with Sonic That's Heroes. That's actually how I first played no, Sonic Heroes. Uh, was the, so, uh... so, so Mario Kart Double Dash had a pre-order bonus demo disc that had a uh, the F Emerald Coast. I think it's the first area, or am I thinking of something else? Uh, seaside no, Hill. Uh, seaside Hill for Sonic. Uh, seaside, seaside, seaside Hill. Sorry, that, that's how much I know my song. I, yeah. I, still, I still remember the uh, the uh, in-store demo, because I think it was that, and then, like, Team Dark, Rail Canyon, and I'm trying to yeah, remember what the third one was. It was, that, it was that one, and then Seaside Hill. And then you also got the demo of fucking uh, Star Wars Rebel Strike and F-Zero GX. Oh. So I used to play that crap ton of that demo disc. The first time I played Sonic Heroes was sampling it at a GameStop kiosk. Uh, it was on the GameCube, and I remember really liking the way, because um, yeah, because the demo was Seaside Hill. And I remember thinking the game looked, oh, this looks so beautiful. And it was after a time where I I stopped. I haven't played Adventure Two and One in, in like over a year, I want to say. Mm -hmm. And so like going back to that, like with uh, Seaside Hill being like your first impression of it, I was like, oh, that, this looks really good. Like, again, I still think Heroes is, like, the best they ever got at, like, capturing the Genesis kind of, like, art style sort of <laughs> deal in 3D. Ooh, Ooh tough crowd. Ooh, you, okay? <laughs> tough oh crowd, tough God. crowd. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> also, don't die. Oh, Drink some water. Yeah, yeah please no, don't no, die. I, I have was drinking water. <laughs> <laughs> oh, went down the wrong pipe. Uh, yeah. <laughs> right, hey, I'm so fine. I'm right. fine, everybody. Don't worry. I'm just a ghost now. Okay, so yeah, I think this one is just a straight get to the goal. Uh. Yeah, you just gotta work with the really shitty real detection physics. I hate this fucking level, yo. Current objective yeah. survive. I always. Like, even in SA2, I always felt like the rail detection was really dodgy. Here, in, in, with Heroes, it's even worse. You know, I'm, I'm introducing a friend of mine into Ratchet and Clank, and it's funny because, like, he's also a big Sonic fan, and he's just like, Dude, how did Ratchet and Clank get rail grinding, like, right on the first try, and Sonic Team failed at it for years and years and oh, years? Oh, okay, Charmy and Vector were just, like, minding their own fucking business on the rail there for what a second. <laughs> <laughs> they might as well should, they might as well should have been T posing on that. Yeah. <laughs> Aww. Aww. They were playing Go Fish. <laughs> on the rails? That's yeah. kinda painful. <laughs> like high stakes go fish. <laughs> if you lose, you have to jump off. No using your wings, Charmy. Fuck you, I cheat. Watch me. <laughs> this one still has John St. John as Big the Cat, right? Yes. Hey. Shoutouts to his Twitter, who's been doing, like, weird Duke Nukem quotes recently. <laughs> like, just, like, saying random lines from, like, movies and games as uh, no, Duke Nukem? No, uh, I think... I think recently one of my favorite ones is done on done. Like I'm gonna have unprotected wife with my wife. What? <laughs> or like that. Oh yeah, he's like, the reason, like voicing stuff from that one fucking Duke Nukem quotes Twitter. Yeah, <laughs> and they're fuck and they're fucking hilarious. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like the only game... I mean, Adventure 2 is grinding feels better than Heroes. Like, yeah, no but, doubt. But, yeah, I, but I, I, actually, I think the one that had the best grinding, as much as I don't like the game, is Shadow the Hedgehog. Because Shadow the Hedgehog actually got both rail grinding and light speed dash, like, right Yeah, pretty on. Yeah, right, right on she, the bat, yeah. I, I rarely have issues. Control. Yeah, I know. Sure I know, about everything right? else. <laughs> but it did get those two things right. So, you know, gotta get credit where credit is And then they fucked it up again. Even if it's the most backhand of compliments I can give it, so... <laughs> yeah. 
Which kind of makes it now even makes me even more annoyed that they got it right in Shadow and then it was fucked up no, again Vector, in 06. No, Vector, go back, Vector. Please go back, Vector. Vector, don't betray oh, me like this, Vector. <laughs> Vector, you fucking <laughs> stupid son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was fucking smart. <laughs> I remember back in middle school, I had a friend who was actually looking forward to Shadow of the Hedgehog. Okay. Because the because he thought like, holy shit, he has guns. This is the best shit ever. And you know, a Sonic team just got a raging stiffy if they heard that story like 15 <laughs> yeah. years ago, because that's the entire point. Yeah. You see, it, people it, like bad idea. Yeah, no. By that time, like I grew up in Sonic again. The only big ones that we played were Adventure One and Two. Mostly because I didn't get a GameCube until much later. But, uh, uh, I... I have no experience with Shadow the Hedgehog either, other than playing it for like five minutes after I bought it for like two dollars. I feel like you both missed a lot and missed nothing at all. <laughs> yeah. That's like, a real extreme dichotomy it, there. Well, it, it, it's interesting for me because, like, I, I used to be in the camp of, like, Shadow the Hedgehog used to be a guilty pleasure. And then it was when you guys did the Shadow the Hedgehog uh, play for, for SGB. I was like, you know what? I think I'm going to go back and play. It. And then that's what I learned. I'm like, okay, it's not a guilty pleasure anymore. It's straight up bad. <laughs> For me. So, Shadow the Hedgehog has the distinction of being one of the few games I've ever returned to GameStop within like an hour of playing what. So I, <laughs> so most of my Shadow experience is like secondhand. But holy shit, what is fucking Shadow's story? Like non-existent. Non-existent. There's some dumb shit there. Oh, I know. There was okay. ten. There was like I ten different it. fucking scenarios. All I right. love it. It's fucking Naruto bullshit. <laughs> Okay, chat. I want to, I, I, like, for the people that have played both, I, I want, uh, I want a discussion on this. Which has the more dumb plot of Shadow the Hedgehog or Star Fox Command? On that. Oh <laughs> shit, that's a oh, challenge. Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh Christ. Oh shit. Uh, all right, hold on. Star Fox Command and Shadow the Hedgehog. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right, I gotta think about. It. Uh. Holy fuck, this is hard. <laughs> 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 like this is actually legit hard because <laughs> who's got command is right, dumb. Right. Like command is really dumb, but so who's is shadow. Got, who's got that? Uh, who wants to be a millionaire? Think music on standby. Dude, 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 I mean, dude, dude, dude. I mean, you look at the you, you look at the good parts and worst parts of command. One of the worst parts is fucking uh, Fox getting cucked by Panther, if I recall. Yeah, it was Panther. <laughs> Here we go. Shadow. Uh, um, Remember how one, there's just an Shadow enemy Shadow probably became an android. Yeah. Oh, uh, what were you saying, Nora? Uh, no, there's just an ending in Command where it's like, here's all the new generation of Star Fox, and they will never acknowledge them again. No. Yeah. <laughs> I think, like, um, what was, um, the name of Andross's, like, son or nephew? I think it was, like, uh, Andy. Oinkney? Oinkney? Andrew? No, no. There, Andrew. Andrew. There, no, Andrew. there was, yeah, there was, a, there was yeah, an Andrew okay. in Command. And, like, one of the endings is him, like, becoming the new... Andros. Like Tyrant or Andros, basically, and they're like, "Oh, that's not gonna go anywhere <laughs> because they yeah. the series again after zero. Who fucked Andros? Uh, the same person who fucked uh, the scientist dude from DMC Four. Also, the uh, same dude that <laughs> fucked Emperor Palpatine in Star Wars. So, uh, all right. I'm going back to work, so I'm gonna hop on. Fun. All right, Foz, don't die. Right. I, I wish everyone a uh, no Bye. promises. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, <Fon. laughs> Bye, everybody. Night, Have a good night, Foz. Oh man, between Tira, between Shadow and Star Fox. Oh, um. <laughs> that that's a tough question. Whoa! Oh, shit. Holy shit, dude. What happened? Whoa! He fell off a rail and then he was gonna die, but then he landed perfectly on the rail below him. <laughs> wow! So you you unintentionally shortcut that? Oh my god! That's a fucking speed run test. I actually secretly love heroes. <laughs> no, no, I hate heroes. I hate heroes. I've been practicing this entire time. What? 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 Dude, yeah, dude, Johnny, you cannot afford to die. What this is your A rank. Fuck. You died. No. Oh, oh, you are too late. No. 
Wait, are, wait. <laughs> you're stuck in the death lane. No, no, no. no, no I, I, I just no, never, I just never moved. Your, your flight meter only drains when you move. Okay. I said hey! What's going on? <laughs> Mentally, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking god! <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this level fucking sucks. <laughs> there is a reason why the goal on this one is get to the end. <laughs> oh my god. Like, honestly, Real Canyon isn't that bad of a stage, but man, I don't know what, what what's with the Chaotix layout on this one. No, I just think it fucking sucks. <laughs> like, I think this stage is actually pretty fun with, like, uh, Team Sonic. Uh, I, think, I think you're fucking dumb. <laughs> this stage sucks. See, it, it's Bullet Station is the one I don't like, uh, for, like, of the rail levels. <laughs> they both bluff. Like, we're going in circles. like, this could, you could really, my enthusiasm for this could be matched with a fart with a reverb. I mean, <laughs> admittingly, I still you do really think You really made Elliot probably... crack up with that on the, uh, <laughs> <Discord> <laughs> thing. It, Like, I won't lie, I do think this is probably, out of all the zones, my least favorite one. For heroes, but yeah. Oh, this one straight fucking sucks. I'm surprised I got through with the hero with the Thor the Dark Side story run. Woo! Can we go? Man, it's a good thing you got all those one ups earlier. Cause... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because now they're going one down and down and down. Definitely one I'm not looking forward to re- Oh my god. <laughs> In fact, I was kind of losing his mind there for a second. Well, if he falls down the same pit over and over again, yet he keeps trying to get through it, I would go insane too. Can I stand on those? I'm not going to try. Okay. Stop. Well, <laughs> oh, that was a waste of time. <laughs> I'll say. So I'm reminded of uh, in the uh, when I first came into the stream and I saw Big Grind. Do you think he shredded his balls completely off grinding on the rails? No, no, that's oh, Cortex. Yeah. That's Cortex and Crash Twin Sanity. <laughs> yeah. No, but now nah, Cortex's voice never gets any higher. Maybe he's wearing a cop. But what about Big? You know his uh, balls are on that rails 24/7. This is assuming ball Big has balls though. Big's got balls. Here we go. Like, are we Where? talking uh, like physically speaking or like? Physically speaking. Metaphorically speaking. Because like, he's got a ball. Like, I agree. Like, he has balls trying to fish his friend out of a god, you know? Yeah. I mean, like, I where do, where's his balls? I don't know. They're cats. Don't they, like, retract? No. No. Oh. Balls you're, don't. You're, like, you're, thinking, you're of, thinking of crocodiles. Oh, uh, okay. I also so, just like how you know that off the top of your head. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's some trivial pursuit shit. There's gonna be a big drop back there. Hold the ball. <laughs> He's ultimately immune to crotch kicks because they just like go in and out like a fucking peasant spencer. <laughs> <laughs> Kick all you want, you son of a bitch. I'm never gonna get tired. This is the end of the stage, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Uh, I so, I this after this is like, we get to the end, but it's also like the most awkward part of the stage. Like, uh, Why does Eggman come on and fart? <laughs> I don't know. What do you know, though? You beat this game a few times. Yeah, a couple of times. Throughout the last 15 years. Not as much as 06. You all have to realize at some point you just admitted that. What? Everybody knows <laughs> that, that at this point. Yeah. That's nothing uh -oh. new. <laughs> Nora, could you go one day without making your mother cry? We are trying to play Trivial Pursuit. What? Oh, uh, 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 shut the fuck up. My mom took me to Spencer's when I, was, when I turned 18. I got Mortal Kombat at age of 5. My mom's the one who's most interested in learning about, like, my sex life. And it's like, thanks, mom. I'm, I sure want to discuss this with someone 
fucking 20 years older than me than hit you all so first me. I gotta tell you, blowjobs with mom is, is one hell of a lady pastime. <laughs> Category, I swear to God. <laughs> it does sound like a Jeopardy category. Yes, Trebek, I'll take Blow Johnson Bob. <laughs> oh, God. No. <laughs> why is that up there? <laughs> and why is it Why is it in a daily double? Because I put it up there, Trebek. <laughs> <laughs> I tried, Trebek. I fucked your mom. <laughs> I don't even remember. This is the right way to go. I think it is. I don't fucking know. <laughs> Bro, I have yeah, it, it's usually I like... uh, when the path is red, that's the one you want to go on. Yeah. So, yeah. You completely wig the solution, and I fucking love it. Dude, flag formation is best formation in this game because it breaks the hell out of it. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, if you don't mind being a vertical conga line for the entire game. As long as, it does it, as long as it doesn't shred my balls to paste all the damn things, I'm going to care less if Cream takes the full lead I think, admittedly, one of the reasons I do do like this level more than bullet station is because of a fly formation. If you know where to jump and stuff like that, you could take some ridiculous shortcuts. Yeah, so that's like with the deal. orange thing there. I think I do that with Team Dark. I do that uh, with uh, Team something. Dark and Team Sonic uh, a lot. <laughs> Ranks like that make my balls retract. <laughs> I mean, Jesus Christ. Uh, that's a little too much information. Oh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had my coffee today. <laughs> Dick Cranky Vector. <laughs> <laughs> Unranked. <laughs> uh, this is the one where you have to. I think they both have to be pointing. Destroy up. the capsules. Yeah. Oh, they have to be uh, pointing up. I think that's the right way to go. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. What? Oh, destroy the capsules. Go back. Go back. What? Oh, that's right. I have to. Oh, man. Because you, you do one stage where you just go back to the <laughs> traditional Sonic shit. I'm, actually, I'm just, I'm just gonna restart. Just restart the stage. Yeah. <laughs> ah, just get yourself killed. It, it's faster to just hit the restart button. <laughs> I suppose. Because I think there are some on the uh, bottom part yeah, of this. Yeah, I'm jumping to well. them right now. This must be the secret weapon capsule. We found the capsule! Now let's get to work, boys. Run! Run! <laughs> I'm pretty sure a 20 year old wouldn't have a voice as deep as Vector. <laughs> <laughs> I like Vector's voice in this game, though. Yeah. We can't always get Cam, Cam Clark to do it. Uh, yeah, you just, just move it a little. Whoa! What the <laughs> hell? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you just need to point it a little to the left or right of the rail. Why did I come back to? I just heard things. So often. <laughs> I just got here. <laughs> <laughs> Man, Did shut someone up. just spit at me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> that was funny. Vector said, "Praise the Lord." <laughs> but, but, or he's giving somebody. Raise your energy. hands up! <laughs> he's giving spirit bomb energy. So where are you at currently right now? Testify! Bullet uh, <laughs> station. Alrighty. Yeah. Can I lean from the cannon launch? No, you, you just aim that's the cannon. That's gonna be one hell of a oh, yeah, power. Oh, oh yeah, because that's right. Because it is manual. That's right. Yeah. Uh, that with power formation, it's a yeah, manual, it's manual. Uh, aim. Hopefully, you know how to drive manual. <laughs> I can't drive stick. <laughs> Nobody does that anymore. No, Russ does. I have to learn how to drive a stick, Jeff. <laughs> it's not that bad. No, it's not. It's just like you have to keep the gears in mind at all times, though. Unless you like See, me, to me, that's just adding a layer of complexity to what should be a simple task. See Super Mario Sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I mean, yeah. 
gotta say, it's really fun watching people experience Sunshine for the first time. Agreed. See, no, both Sunshine and 64. Uh, 64, for, 64, I'm half, like, I want to be happier about it, but it's also people going, this wasn't all that great. I was like, fuck you, this, of course it's not all that great nowadays. It's a 25-year-old game. It is the basis for literally every fucking 3D game you'll play these days. Yeah. Same as Ocarina of Time. That lock-on feature was a big thing for a reason, folks. Yeah, but yep. it, it's also for me of just whenever I hear of like Mario 64 being the perfect game, I'm just like, hell no. Nah. Like it's an important game, but it's not. It's that. an important it's, game, yeah. but like, like de facto, like Mario perfection, no. All right. I mean, let's get a little. Be galaxy. Let's, let, let's get yeah, a little. Gal uh, pretty much Galaxy for 3D wise. All right. Let's get, little, that, let's, get let's, let's get a little spicy. Let's get a little spicy in the chat here. Uh, <laughs> all right, anything all right. to you guys specifically. All right. So, uh, in terms of games that are like absolutely the pinnacle of their genre, or genre defining, what has aged worse, Mario sixty four or Ocarina of Time? Oh, oh ooh, I fuck you! Yeah. Would say as Mario sixty four. Yeah, I, I would say. I'd say, I get, yeah, I'd say 64. Uh, I mean, I could, I mean, because Ocarina of Time still holds up as just a really solid game to play regardless. But so yeah. is 64. But well, so is 64. Well, so is 64, I, I, but I, I can at least had, get more fun out of Ocarina of the story. See, for me, uh, I always felt like 64 is really fun for its first half. I always felt like after you head up, uh, once you start going to the upper floors of the castle, I always felt like the level variety and design just doesn't become as fun at that point. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. 64 also, you, I would say, I has some archaicness to its design that only comes for it being so, such an early 3D game. Whereas with Zelda, I feel like they designed around the constraints of 3D a little better. Yeah. Right. And like, even though, like, I know, it might be, is like might be cheap. Shit. I know it might be cheating and stuff like that. Like, I, I, if I go back to Ocarina, I'm playing, you know, 3DS version. But I still have a lot of fun going back to that one with 64. A lot of the time, I'm just like, I'm having fun, but I, in the back of my head, I'm just like, I feel like I have more fun playing, say, Odyssey or Galaxy or anything like that, you know? That, that and plus, I agree with Matt Pat with this one, that and plus, there is a huge mock community that keeps that game floating up to this day. Huge what? Mock community. community. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> Am I the only one who yeah. got that dot? <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you can, if you can wipe one one phrase from the human race, what would it be? <laughs> um. Yes. Overrated. It's, the curtains were fucking blue. <laughs> oh, that fucking <laughs> dumbass statement. Uh, what? I'm, the right. curtain. Uh, I'll let Nora explain it better. All right. So. There's, a, there's this fucking, like, phrase that people talk about a lot when it comes to critical analysis of literature. When you're in high school, they, you, they teach you very basic stuff about, like, themes and mood and stuff with a story. Yeah. And, like, one of the examples that they'll always use is, like, how color can be meaningful. And the thing is, a lot of people come away from high school English with an understanding that professor like teachers are just making you think too hard about nothing which i fully blame on the, the fact that we're still teaching hawthorne in the year 2020 fuck nathaniel hawthorne that's my hot take of the night <laughs> <laughs> and we stop that that kids is. can we post yeah keep uh, uh, uh list examples of the work in case people are not familiar by the author's name all right uh if you've ever read the Scarlet Letter, one, okay. I'm sorry, two, <laughs> uh, Anyways, so going back to the original point, like the fucking big meme that people usually do to dismiss critical, like, critical analysis of literature as a whole is, right. well, maybe the curtains were just fucking blue. In other words, let's put it. Uh, You're reading too deep into it, basically. Is, uh, yeah. In other, basically. yeah, in other words, but it's not like it's done, not that like way. done that way. In well, other words, what the door stay. Hold on, hold on. Oh, 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 we got feedback. Uh oh. All right. Uh, what we, okay, yeah. Okay. There we go. Um, okay, go, go <laughs> what were you saying, Matt? In other words, rather than trying to actually elaborate on deeper meanings and themes within the work, they just say that shit just to get out of doing any actual fucking thinking. Yes, to, use exactly. avatar to, to use an Avatar The Last Airbender example. 
Azula is one of the more complex characters of the show, and people just look at her and go, lol, sociopath, that's her to fuck out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Who's listening on, who's on their phone? Because we're getting feedback on someone's that's phone. That's Linky. Uh, yeah, think, Linky, uh, uh, you mind muting your mic in the meantime? Because yeah. it's kind of annoying. Like, um, Mavitelli 2 echoes, I like that. <laughs> like, okay, on that thing, it's like, I, I do get uh, of that, uh, where, you know, that I get where, I, where certain things are, you know, overthought uh, but at the same time yes. it's also like no there's a lot of times where the silent unsung word needs to be said the themes the choices used by the author and all that goes into that it, and also also like analysis of a whoa word is, is not intense, <laughs> like, that's not intense. <laughs> wow that's that's something <laughs> what happened a two, oh, two to the one. A one to the three <laughs> i like good pussy and i like good trees Spoke so much weed, you wouldn't believe. And I get more What's ass than a going in the seat. Three to the one, one to the three. I met a bad bitch last night on the beat. Tell you how she's gonna leave with me. Conversation at head of the seat. I've been to the motherfucking mountain top. Her motherfuckers drop shit and drop. If I ain't got a weapon, I'ma pick up a rock. I'm gonna bust your ass. I'm gonna take you out. Get your ass on the wall when you do that beat. I'll just stop, you fucker. <laughs> <laughs> I was going with the beat too, and then he stopped the <laughs> And I bet you, like, half of the comments like, why does Matt know that song? <laughs> Reply well. to the wrong fucking crazy. <laughs> because the curtains are fucking purple, okay? We're just going to see all of the, like, you know, Twitter song replacement stuff from that. Um, but, um,. What do we call it? Uh, yeah, like, uh, there, for me, it depends offer the offer, because it's like, there's one of those, the prove to me that you are faking that deep in, because there are definitely certain works of media where I'm just like, people are like, this, this and this is like really what it means, and the other part of me, sure. like, if, mm. if, sure. the, if I feel like the writer is not thinking that far ahead, or it doesn't fucking just, matter if the author is thinking that far yeah. ahead, if the thematics are out there in it, then it's still the same thing. Exactly. It's the equivalent of saying it's the equivalent of saying it's like looking at the Mona Lisa and asking why does it smile, or to use Tales of Persuri as an example, when Artorius keeps asking people why is it the birds fly, he keeps getting different answers from everybody because there's multiple ways to examine an artistic piece. Yes, yeah. the you know examination of a work does not end at the author because the work will live beyond the author. Having, you know, so having really said that, like however, that though, however, I I have to hypoc I call me a hypocrite for this. My one limitation, however, is when the author puts his foot down. Yeah, like, that's because I yeah because because I remember I remember when Nora and I talked about this in another live stream about like it doesn't really matter what the creators' intentions are in terms of like how people interpret the themes or what they might get out of this. I, I still feel some sort of way if the creator does like go out and say because at the end of the day it's their work, and I, I feel that to to gloss over that is. I, I'm, it, it's hard to put into words because I, I am not a liter, little literary major in the slightest. Hey, Caddy, how's it going? Thank you, man. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, like like I said, there's always limitations for it, and it's, no, and it's always a gray area because I'm also reminded of Pearl Jam's Alive. Pearl, hey. Jam, Pearl Jam's Alive, for example, was a case of where it was a guy wondering why the fuck he's alive despite what the hell he went through. Meanwhile, the fans took it as something like, you know, hey, this actually means he found strength to be alive throughout all uh, this. And to the author of the song, it changed the meaning for him. So uh, there's I, I always a limitation to it, but I I do kind of side of that mindset because where what Johnny was talking about earlier was not so much whether what he said, but an attitude which fuck you, Gene, for ruining Smoke and Shadow for me. I, for me, I one I think that death of the death of the author is a very valid. Uh, take on the interpretation in that the author's opinion should not be the be end be all end all. But yeah, that's also, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I um, I think. Um, but also, I I feel like that that approach leads to people approaching literature as a solved question when yes. that's not what literary okay. analysis I, is about. Exactly. I, I, I think I was uh. I think I was uh, barking up the uh, wrong tree uh, kind of thing. I'm just trying to think of the way to uh, where. I think it's uh, more up there where people like say. Uh, I'm trying to think of a good example. I think there might be one for 
There, there might be one for uh, that I experienced with uh, Dunga Rubble that I might be able to talk to Nora about uh, off screen. Screen, but uh, basically, yeah, because I can't even spell Dongan Ropa. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> like, we're, I think it's more where people oh, yeah. are saying, like, uh, you you need to interpret it like this, 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 this and that, or there, there's just part of me that's like, sometimes I don't want to. to Ignorance as well. I, 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 let, 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 let me, uh, let me finish. I yeah, think it's it. where, like, I only want to think like that if you give me enough evidence and, like, source of that that I feel like the writer was Binky, that where I feel like that would be about I tried to figure out the ways I, how I'm one word this because it's not coming out right uh where like I only care of going that deep if I feel like it warrants it for me if I don't like what I'm re reading or what I'm experiencing then I don't want to go that deep I mean, that's a, that's a separate question at the end of the day. Yeah, I, yeah that really that's is. That's, basically yeah. Used, that's like you saying, well, I'm not going to go that deep into it. I'm just okay. going to look at the face value thing. And that's like, yeah. oh, I do a lot of fun at parties. Yeah. I'll, I'll message uh, Nora about I think she might be able to explain what I'm talking about a little bit better than. Yeah. I just like the photos. <laughs> <laughs> well, Does this book this have pictures in it? <laughs> Can I stab it? Yeah, I want to fucking know about it. <laughs> Where's the boobs? I, I am I am of the mind that if you can get something out of this book or piece of media that was not entirely the point of the story in question, then that's great. Yeah, you know, I mean, who's because it, it, it does give like, it more. It does give it more value. And not for nothing, you could also have an opinion or viewpoint about something that nobody else brought up, and it's always a, and it's always interesting to bring it to the discussion tables. Mm -hmm. Yes, and, and yeah, exactly for the sake of discussion, just for the sake of having a conversation. That's why I I actively encourage that sort of thing. You Unless know, it's all the way out there. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it also depends on the subject matter. It depends on what exactly it is you did take from it, because I mean, it, it's a case by case case. I, I, oh, case by case basis, I should say, because for there, example, you're, go ahead, for example if you've come away from Final Fantasy XIV thinking that it says imperialism is good, actually, oh wow, you haven't been paying attention. To the Jesus story. Christ! That's a take I've seen. Those are the folks that skip cutscenes. Yeah. Yeah. I, I skip cutscenes. I'm delivery beans. This is my life now. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically me doing everything on my own right now because I cannot remember what's going on in the plot now. Sorry, Johnny. I'm skipping uh, Dragon Song. <sighs> <laughs> I still can't spell Dragon Rafa. Uh, I was like, where's it? You disgust me. Oh, I got that DM. Yeah. All right. okay. I, I'm still uh, trying I'm to figure out the best way of how I word this because I, I know what I'm talking about in my head. I just can't put it in the words kind of deal. <laughs> I forget uh, that all the time, dude. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Um, all right. It's going to come out when you have a good night, bud. All right. All right. See you, knowing you, Linky, or if it's anything like me, you're going to probably get the right words out while you're working at the GameStop floor at 10 o'clock at night. It's like, that's the word, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> so no, I'm word. just closing up shop. Like, I'm closing up. I'm going home. Here we go. Here we go. I'm going to go home. Um, I mean, Pat, at the end of the day, Pat, with what you're, the problem you're having with it is Rampa asks you to make a lot of concessions with, um, one, your suspension of disbelief in order to buy into the concept of that character. Yeah. But also, I think if you do buy into that stuff, she ends up being a more strongly written character. The character he DMs me about, by the way, is the antagonist of Danganronpa 1, who I will not call, uh, say the name of. It's, it's just interesting for me, because I, I don't buy it there, but like I totally got like everything they were going for in, say, V3, for example. Yeah. yeah. Um, but like, in Danganronpa 2, I feel like the idea of her works a lot better than like the actual character does because the idea right. of what she did with the um the despair people was interesting yeah. you yeah. wanted to know more about how she got them to buy <laughs> and then the three game. happened <laughs> and then three happened <laughs> hey y'all want to y'all want to give me some clicks i have a whole essay about three you can read <laughs> <laughs> michelle time <laughs> <laughs> Tip to get booze. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll dump it in the chat if people want to read it. It's full of spoilers. So. Oh yeah. Definitely an agent. 
Uh, where is it? There it is. Here we go. Here is the link. Uh, Dog and Rumpa is both good and shit. Um, I'll put it like this. Like, uh, good and shit. <laughs> that's not that, a review. Every game I can attest to that. Uh, like, uh, honestly, for me, the first game it's a one and done. I do like the second game. I really enjoyed V three. Uh, was like how I <laughs> experienced through them. <laughs> Simultaneously, good and shit. Yes. I never heard it, anything it, described like that. Like face faces on Danganronpa. <laughs> uh, Danganronpa is both one of the best games and one of the worst games I've ever played. <laughs> I, it is the greatest humanity has to offer, and the lowest. <laughs> <laughs> so, so accurate. <laughs> okay, uh, it is. <laughs> we're two hours and it's time to call tonight. All right. uh, <laughs> I want you guys to hold on to this. For next session, because next session is going to be back on its regular schedule time. It's going to be Monday. So just a couple of All days right. away from this. We want to talk more about Dong and Rapa. You're going to talk <laughs> more about Dong and Rapa. A, a death of the author and getting themes out of stuff that's not necessarily the point of the story itself. Because yeah. Yeah, I, like well, gonna... I like talking about stuff like that. Yeah. You're going to be talking about Dong and Rapa. I'm just going to look at boobs. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so Dong and Rapa. <laughs> yeah. Hmm, boobs, you say. <laughs> Tons of them. Big ones, small ones, thumb this in your head. Anyway, we'll reconvene <laughs> with more Sonic Heroes on Monday. Uh, that is, uh, let me see. That's Monday, yes. Uh, <laughs> we're going to continue on. Well, we're going to finish off Chaotic side of the story, then we'll see what the wheel takes us to next time. Hoping it's Sonic, but we'll see. It's 50 50. Flip of the coin. Uh, tomorrow, subnight will be Fall Guys. We'll be playing both the PS4 and the Steam version to. Uh, satisfy both uh, sides there and uh, just a reminder uh, the finale of Derek's Metroid movie storyboard is also tomorrow we'll be going live at 4 30 p.m uh, EDT for like the pre-show interview and it will go live at five and then the post up will be at six o'clock so I hope you guys look forward to that thank you very much for your generosity your supports your contributions to the conversation and help me just laugh my ass off because <laughs> Fuck the thing, you Hawthorne! Yeah. <laughs> 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 and uh, let's see if uh, we can find anybody to raid right now. All right, nobody on my side is raiding. Let's raid a small channel. Uh, let me see who is. Let's see who else is playing Sonic Heroes. If Miss Fushi. Let's see if anybody else is playing Sonic Heroes. No, fuck Sonic Heroes. How about we raid Miss Fushi for Super Mario that's 64? A, that, that's uh, that's nepotism. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, Where is that? What is Miss Fushi? Jump for 69 star percent. <laughs> nice. Nice. Very nice. Miss Fushi, there she is. All right. All right, next time we'll rate a small channel. If you want to rate a small channel, how about you call me Johnny? Ow! Uh, ooh. Oh, <laughs> uh, there goes my cut for the next year. You don't get paid at all. Oh. <laughs> there is no SGP. <laughs> the dream is dead. Bury it. <laughs> Oh, and that's it, guys. Uh, we'll see you guys for the next session of Sonic Heroes next Monday. Uh, send me a sushi, my love, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good night, everybody. Take care. Later.